So much shalom to all of you. May Abba Yahweh peace be with you. Israel, no matter where you are, is it Sabbath day of Abba Yahweh? I thanks Abba Yahweh for him to give me another blessing, to see another day, another Sabbath, another Sabbath day, another blessing day. Abba Yahweh, simple, my grace only is sufficient for you. The birth of life, that is a grace Abba Yahweh has given to me. I try to be content in whatever the circumstances might be. We wake up today. Abba Yahweh deserves to be thanks, no matter what the circumstances. That the people go to bed, they do not wake up. But if you are receive that blessing, it's not something you can buy go. To destroy you by it but it's something to given to you because of love because of mercy because of compassion 
But Mr. Yeshua said, if you love me, obey my commandment. If you love us, what we should be in return? Hate him or love him? When you get someone who loves you, what you should be doing? Back. You love that person back. Remember, there's a difference between fall in love and be in love. Big difference between fall in love and be in love. So it takes one person to fall in love. But it takes two persons to be in love with each other. You can fall in love with somebody, the person mistreating you, abusing you, disrespect you, because you fall in love. But when you be in love, we love each other. It take two people on the bed. It take two people to be fighting. The two better than one. It's is 6,000 years. Humanity has all the power and authority to do what is right, but they refuse to do what is right. 3,500 years ago, Abba make a covenant with the children of Israel. That one doesn't work in either. That's the reason why Abba Yahweh say, I am Yahweh. This is my name. I change not. That's the reason why the children of Israel has not already destroyed. It's a time now, my brothers and sisters, my world citizen, my fellow brothers, Levites, no matter where you are. The children of Israel, the 12 tribe of Israel were on the four corners of the earth. It is a time now to make a decision. See what side you uh, stand for. What team you want to play? The loser team or the winner? I buy our winner what no. Loser. Player in his team. If you are a loser, I buy our doesn't need you to play in his team. I buy our want a winner. A person who get a caliper for winners. Not for loser. Today is a Sabbath day. The whole earth is supposed to be honor, praise, be grateful, be faithful, worship Yahweh. That's why the scripture is asking to love Yahweh, to serve Yahweh, and to be obedient to Abba Yahweh. But instead of that, we do whatever we please and we expect for everything to go well for us my friends shabbat shalom to all of you we are by our way and his peace and his mercy and his grace find a place in his mind a place in his kingdom to forgive you and to make you a part of his chosen one. And yes, you are him. Yes, we are by our will. Yes, what's come? Abba Yahweh is about day. Perhaps Abba Yahweh may fly far away to have a mercy upon you. I know a lot of y'all can relate to this. Family members who turn against you when you come into the truth. You know, you want to share this knowledge with your family because you be excited about this thing, you know. But they don't want to hear that. They want to continue living worldly and doing all the mother crazy things, you know what I'm saying? No more family reunions. And no more family get together. Now that you're in the truth. You gon' be lonely, lonely as ever. People who used to come and
and chill with you. They don't call or come by no more. Cause now you're on another level. So you gotta let them, let them all go. Cause you were chosen to get this knowledge. But it wasn't our day for them. So welcome to your new family. The family of the neglected. And it hurt and it hurt so bad. With that family you looked out for. They turn around and turn their back on you. Cause you're following the heavenly father. I'm telling you, your family is gonna be a worse enemy. When you're walking in this truth, yeah. When you're walking in this truth. I'm telling you, your family. It's gonna be a worse enemy when you're walking in this truth. Yeah. When you're walking in this truth. Ooh. Listen. First time you're showing the truth, they pretend and act like they're listening. But the next time you come around, they gonna be dodging you like you with Jehovah's Witness. Then they start bad mouthing you. Telling people you're part of an occult But we just chilling with our new brothers and sisters And the Holy Scriptures is all we quote And it hurt and it hurt so bad With that family you looked out for They turn around and turn their back on you Cause you're following the heavenly father <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can turn your life around for the better you know, they want to talk bad, like you, you, you can be some evilness or some wickedness or something. You know what I mean? Who hurts so bad? You, your family. It's a worst enemy, man. It's gonna be a worst enemy. Ooh. When you're walking in this truth, yeah. When you're walking in this truth, when you're walking in this truth. Oh, oh. I'm telling you, your family. Oh, it hurts so bad. It's gonna be a worst enemy. Your closest family, man. When you walk in When you're walking in the truth, yeah. To the family, the family gonna be your worst enemy, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, they're gonna be talking behind your back, yeah. All the time. And smiling in your face. Yep. Ooh, acting like they was getting this truth. Like they was really listening. As soon as you leave. Just your Bible and the most high. I'm telling you, your family is going to be a worse enemy. Yes, they are. When you're walking in this truth. When you're walking yeah, in this truth. Up, though. When you're walking in this truth. It's going to be all right. You I'm telling me. you, your family Ooh. is going to be a worse enemy. That's what they going to be. When you're walking in this truth. Yeah. Listen to what I'm saying. When you're walking in this truth. It's gonna be rough out there. Go to the end. As long as you got the most high, and you shine during what game, you gonna be alright. The children of Israel, no matter where you are, it's only one thing you have to realize this morning: you wake up. And to remember, thirty-five hundred years ago, what was the covenant? Yahweh, your Creator, has made with your ancestors in the land of Mount Zanite. About says six days do your labor. The seven days is the day of Yahweh your creator. On the Sabbath day, not you, your son, your daughters, your maid, and your female servant. Your animals, not even a stranger who's within your gate, not supposed to be doing any work. For in six days, Yahweh will create the paradise, the earth, the sea, and everything set on them. And Abba Yahweh wasted on the seventh. 
I bet that we do not finish everything in seven days and rest on the first day of the week. It stayed me. It finished, it complete all its work on the six days, on the seventh. The grace. Therefore, Yahweh bless the Sabbath day. Yahweh sanctify the Sabbath day. Yahweh set apart the Sabbath day. Yahweh rested on the seven days. Yahweh refreshed it on the seven days. And Yahweh allowed the seven days. It says to us, if you love me, if you love me, you will obey my commandment. If you love me. It's not about if you want to, but if you love me. Love is the substance of love. Without love, there is no life. Love is the substance of life. Whatever you do in your life, if you do it without no love, you are wasting of your time. For this scripture says Yahweh is love. But what is the love of Yahweh? The love of Yahweh is to obey his commandment. It's not to slap you in his face. It's not to keep on disobeying, keep on rebel against him. When you love somebody, you do whatever you know that person can be pleasing. You will never know anything stupid to displease that person. If they say we love, you will always do anything, whatever it takes to please that person but not to disrespect that person, not to rebel against that person, not to reject it, that person. Today, humanity is upside down. Today, the whole world is on the curse. Which I barely say, if you obey all my commandments, I will bless you. But if you refuse, you turn your back and not listen, not obey my commitment and to them, I will curse you. On the book of Deuteronomy 28 chapter, there is 68 verses, only 12 verses talking about blessing. But all the other 56 verses talking about curses. So there's more curses in the scripture than the blessing. But today whatever happened, people blame it in somebody instead of to blame their own selves. They blame Satan. Sometimes Satan don't even see you. They blame white men. What men don't even know what is going on into your life between you and your creator. They give you all kind of things in order for you to get the excuse, escape good just like Adam by blaming the woman, the woman, the serpent, thinking you can get away from it. No. But King David was acknowledged his mistakes. We all fought short from the glory of Yahweh. But guess what? Yahweh give every single of us a free salvation. The same way we fall short, but it's the same way Yahweh give us a free salvation. Are we receive it? No. And sit up to refuse to receive it. We reject it instead. That's the reason why the scripture say, My people are destroying. It's not why people who destroy you. 
It's not Satan who destroy you. Listen carefully. My people are destroyed because of lack of understanding. Because of lack of wisdom. Because you have no understanding. You get that knowledge from Satan. Like the knowledge from Satan, but you have nothing from your Creator. How long? How long? You will keep on fighting between two opinions. You are rebellious children. Who is suffer? You suffer. Time is to change. It's not Obama time for change. But it's a time now to realize what is the meaning of love. Let's praise our Bayawi. Let's enter into a message of our Bayawi that we can give any. Israel. The future is bright for me. It's a bad day. I got free from Babylon. Are you free from Babylon? Looking back that way. The road can get lonely. But I gotta keep pressing forward. You got to press forward. Got the most higher. I'm staying the course. I'm a retired slave. Thanks to the most high. And the world walking through the shot. There's no way I'm going back. 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 There's no way I'm going back.
thousand years ago I buy a way to a lot life a lot family whatever you hear from never turn back don't look back she turned back and what happened to her she become a pillar of salt until today at the same time to all of you if you are refused to listen to Yahweh and you turn back and you know what the consequences are going to be happening. There's only one way to look back is to see how far Abaya will take you. Otherwise, you cannot look back. What you look back is because you remember what you used to be doing in this wicked world. The pleasure, the lines, the parties, the fornications, the polygamy, the polygamy, those bad things you used to be doing. Because whatever is your mind is, is where you are. They say as well, say, seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh in all its righteousness. And everything will add into you. Not something. Seek ye the kingdom first. Don't just look in at what you want from Abba Yahweh. And expectations, yeah, we're going to give it to you without seeking. Uh -uh. It's a two way street. There is nothing free. Abba will say, I will give you this in one condition. You must qualify to receive it. How many of you who qualify when you ask up by your way to receive what you're asking? Mr. Shua said, whoever asking should be received, but there's a condition when you're asking. Whoever knock at the door, the door should be open. But there's a condition, there's instructions, there's a requirement, there's a qualifications. You must qualify. He said, whoever seeks should be fine. But all those things, as a requirement, conditions, instructions, but you don't believe very bit. My friends, seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and all his righteousness and everything, not something, everything. About say if you obey my commandment, you do them. Everything you asking, I will give them to you. Everything. But you must obey and observe his commandment. There is a requirement. If you love me, and you obey all my commandments and do them, I will give you everything everything you ask in me anything you want if you love me you walk according to my ways anything everything you ask in me i will give it to you what is a promise not something but everything my friends about shalom to all of you i don't know about you but I'm going to keep on pushing until the time. Until the time, I will keep on pushing. <laughs> so 
Shabbat Shalom to all of you, Israelites, my brothers and sisters, no matter where you are. On the seventh day of every week, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, the day that truth Obedience is better than sacrifice. Israel, no matter where you are, six days to your labor, and sit to go to the funerals, to the wedding, whatever you're doing, that you should go to be to your Shalom, Shalom. Israel, no matter where you are, just remember, 3,500 years ago, the Sabbath day is the only sign between you and Yahweh. The only sign. If you call yourself an Israelite, every one of you change of your name. Abba Yahweh doesn't say to change of your name. He says to change the way you are living. By changing of your name is a deception. Why the meaning of changing of your name? To impress people you are of the house of Israel. But do you know why Abba Yahweh was make a covenant with the children of Israel? If the Sabbath day is the only sign between you and your Creator, you imagine you change of your name? You embrace people, you call yourself any kind of names. But yet, the most important things you forget, you ignore it, you reject it in your life. You take you still an Israelite. <laughs> I feel sorry for all of you. You are living in the self denial and you don't even realize that. So the darkness is on you. It's greater than what you spent it. The lie you think you have on is not lies, it's darkness. You are still living in the deceptions of the acceptance of this wicked world. You are still living just to show people you are this, you are there when you are nothing. You might have like the knowledge. You might be intelligent. You might be very smart. But guess what? You don't have no wisdom. 
without your wisdom, no matter what you think you are. You might be a doctor, a scientist, a president, or a queen, or a king, whatever you think you are. You are a bunch of fools. That's the reason why you will make the knowledge of this world you call foolishness. Because you think you know something when you do not know nothing. To all my brothers and sisters, no matter where you are on the fulfillment of the earth. I am messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. So Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Baruch Abishem Yahweh to you, my beloved Greek. May Abba Yahweh bless you. I'm asking Abba Yahweh to heal you in the name of Yahshua. Today, it's not mine, it's not yours. Most of you might be thinking today is yours. Most of you might be thinking this is my life. But we own nothing. Naked we are coming. And naked we are coming back. This is a time now to realize this world has nothing to offer unto you. But in the kingdom of Yahweh, there is so much promises. If you love me, you will obey my commandment and I will bless you. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Yes, thank you. Bless in the name. Bless it that coming. Baruch Shem Yahweh. Bless we come in the name of Yahweh. Yes, until we don't bless him, we're going to be in trouble. Said by killing the prophet. Today is a Sabbath day. What is the meaning of Sabbath day? Most people think in Sabbath day is a joke. Most people thinking the Sabbath day has nothing to do with Abba Yahweh creation. But they believe on the Yom Kippur. They believe on the Feast of Trumpet. They believe on the Wash Kodesh. They believe on Valentine's Day. They believe on Halloween's Day. They, they believe in Christmas, the New Year's and New Year's. They believe in all those pagan holidays. But they don't believe in Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the only sign. The only. There is no other sign. Only the Sabbath. is the only sign between you and your creator. If you ignore the day of declaration of independence of your creator. But yet, all those pagans' holidays, you welcome them. Without asking any questions, without any validations, without any scripture. Nowhere on the scripture found the Feast of Trumpets, or the Feast, or the Holy Day, Holy Day, who make the day holy. That's why holy is a pagan. Let's do shosh holy in the Hebrew scripture. That's kadosh. Holy Father. Holy day. Who make the day holy? Because the abomination. Yes. That's the reason why 2,000 years ago, Mr. Yeshua said, those who love me will obey my commitment. But those who don't love me will not go obey my commitments. Most of you thinking 
You can change your name and do whatever you please. At the end, you're going to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. No, you do not going to be into the kingdom of Yahweh. My beloved, the Sabbath day is the only commandments. We have so many instructions, requirements in order to observe it. It's a longer commitment ever. You would have found the word Sabbath over 5,000 times, 5,000, not 5 times, not 500, 5,000 times. And you're going to find about over 1,200 verses. 1,200, not 12 verses. So, yes, Kadesh, set apart, holy is pagans. My friends, from Genesis to Revelation, I bear we talking about the Sabbath day. But nowhere on the scripture talking about the Lord day. But billions of people rejected the commitment of Yahweh and others to honor their own traditions. Yekadesh. Is it time now for us to make a decision? Where you stand for which team you want to play? If you want to be a loser, our buyer will not want you any steam. Our buyer will want those who have a desire, caliber to be a winner, to have a championship. That's the sky player you are looking for. But if you have no caliper to be a champion, I bet I don't want you. And it's still. By being a champion, you must follow Yeshua footstep. When our buyer will wish create everything in six days. He rested on the seven days. It's not because Yahweh was tired. It's because Abba Yahweh want us to follow his pattern. Pattern means his footstep. But instead of for us to follow Abba Yahweh pattern and Yahushua footstep, we turn our back and slap Yahweh in his face. An expected miracle will be happening in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and all its righteousness. Then, when, then, everything will add it to you. Abba Yahweh, thank you for another blessing. Thank you for another set apart day. Thank you for another. The day you sanctify the Sabbath day. For all your people. Those who are rescued from the darkness. To reveal your light. Those who are in the full corner of the earth. Who are confused. Because of so many traditions of men. Was Asana, Trumpet, Was Goddess, Yom Kippur, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. There is so many deceptions. They do not know what to do. Uh, by your way, if it is by your will, please your, your will be done on earth. Because you create all your questions for only one purpose. To do your will. But they don't understand that because of the tradition. This is your life. You can do whatever you want. They forget if you are the, the potter, they are the clay. 
I was confused at one time too. Thank you to found me when I was lost. Thank you to having compassion and mercy and to forgive my ignorance and to restore me from the power of the darkness. Because the whole world has been misled. The whole world has deceived. Under the banner of so many false holidays, man-made holidays, man-made religions, man-made names and everything. I pray I will bless you, all of you. You are blessed. Yes, set apart in all everything you do. That's the reason why I always say, touch not anything unclean. Touch not anything unclean. And I will receive you. We cannot participate in any kind of filthy, dirty things. Defile ourselves. When you defile yourself, you are the temple. You are the temple. You stop the spirit to dwell upon you because of the way you live in your life. For the way what you eat, everything when it affected you, because you are the temple. The spirit of Yahweh will not gonna dwell on the building made by man made. Abba Yahweh doesn't dwell on the house made by men. You are the temple. If you are filthy, you are defiled, you eating things are by Yahweh say is an abomination. You know Abba Yahweh say do not fornicate it, do not commit it adultery. And when you do them, what happened? Your body is defiled. You are unclean. Only deception. That's why Abba Yahweh has never given anything free. There's a requirement. You must be set apart. Yahweh say, I am Kadosh. You must also be Kadosh. Those he chosen. Not those who are called, but those chosen must be set apart. Yes, put the shrines down the people. Yes. You cannot eat pig, swine, and you expect it. There is going to be miracles because your body is defiled. Because by eating pig, swine, or pork, is an abomination. So you expect it for Abba Yahweh to dwell upon a filthy temple? No. If you love Yahweh, you must obey his commitment. Abaya, I am in your prison today. To do according to what you was created me for. To do your will, not that my will, but that will be done on earth as it is right now in paradise. All your creation today, they're doing only one thing. They praise you. Thanks you. For the six days you give it to them. But today, all your creation, the trees, the animals, the, every creation, the angels, they bow down before you to thank you, to praise you, and to learn about you. That is the reason why the Sabbath is all about, is to get closer closer to your creator because your creator knows everything about you before he even put you in your mother rooms is already know everything in every book is written about you from a to z but you know nothing about your creator 
That's the reason why it chose the Sabbath day and it set apart that day, it sanctified that day, it rests in that day, it refreshes in that day in order for you to have a communications. Try to have a friendship, a relationship to learn about him. By refusing it, now you're going to blame him on Satan. Instead of to blame it on yourself. My beloved, as the custom, we know we have to blow the shofar for the children of Israel, no matter where you are on the full corner of the earth. To listen to the warning. It's not the trumpet. It's going to be a shofar. Hello. There will never be a trumpet. There's going to be a shofar. So the feast of trumpet is just a meat. It's just a miss on destiny. The way they quote the scripture, the way they mistranslate the scripture, is a way to mislead you. Just like was Ashana. Just like all those other Yom Kippur, was goddess. Hanukkah. There is so many traditions from the Jewish perspectives, from the Catholic, and from the system, from the cut, from the governments. We must get out before it is too late. I buy away I am in your presence. As your servant, is your people come before you. They want to know about you. But it's the real meaning of set apart day to talk about you, to praise you, to worship you, to thank you, to be faithful to you, and to ask you more and more blessing. In the name of Yeshua, Amashiach, Abayahwe. Is your servant. I humble myself before you to do your will according to what to please you. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. The verses you will create, your mouthpieces, here I am. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Hallelujah. You had to fly number seven, 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 Greek. Yes. Hallelujah. So now is it time now to blow the shofar, not the trumpet, but the shofar. There's a big difference between the shofar and the trumpet. The children of Israel never blow the trumpets, but the shofar. That's a contradiction between men made traditions in Yahweh words. Baruch ata Yahweh Elohim no milek ala oram ase. Kisano be misvate ve visvano ker al shufa. We're going to call to the twelve twelve of Israel according to the directions to repent from their wicked ways. Turn to Abba Yahweh. Return to Yahshua Amasiak. Your turn are permitted no matter where you are. May you hear the sound of the shofar if you are sleeping to wake up before it's too late. Make sure you don't lose the flying. There is one time, one opportunity. There is no second chance in life. If you are waiting for the second chance, you're going to miss your flying. You're not going to receive it. Yes. The horns? Yes. And. My friends, let's go to the church of, of Israel. <laughs>
we turn to the east and we call the twelve of Yahuda. To the twelve of Isaac and to the twelve of Zebulun. To repent from your wicked ways. No matter where you are, Abba Yahweh asking you to repent from your wicked ways. Not even Abba Yahweh command you, is warning you also to come out, come out from the system, come out from the Jewish holidays, from the black Hebrew Israelites holidays who follow the footsteps of the Jewish people. My beloved, my virgins, my fellow citizens, my Israelite brothers and sisters, I always say, if you are sleeping, is it time to wake up? Is it time now to take shuva? Is it time now to return to the Sabbath? The Lord day, the sun day, has nothing to do with Yahweh Sabbath day. Just like the Rosh Hashanah, just like the Feast of Trumpet, there is no relationship between those. Abba, we ask in the tribe of Yahuda, the tribe of Azaka, and the tribe of Naphtah, the Zebulun, no matter where you are, in your turn, I permit it. No matter where you are, Abaya will call you out of Babylonian system. And Abaya will tell you to come for it. Because the judgment is, is already writings in the walls of the United States of America. Babylon the Great is fallen. Oh, yes, it is fallen. <laughs> Now we try to go to the north and we come to the tribe of Dan, to the tribe of Asher, to the tribe of Naphtali, no matter where you are, on the four corner of the earth. Abaya, we asking you, the time is now. Abaya, we command the children of Israel, you must not follow the way of the heathens. Do not do according to the Egyptians doing in the land you was living. And do not do, do not follow the practice of the Canaanites people, the land, and promise to give it to you. Why we are with you is to listen. Prophet Samuel said to King Shaul, Obedience is better than sacrifice. Abaya will say, I desire mercy, not sacrifices. A sacrifice offered to Yahweh is a contribute and broken spirit. Blessed are those Bless our poor and the spirit, for the kingdom is in paradise. Those who are seeking, those who want to learn, to want to know, Abaya will bless you. But curse are those who think they are rich in the spirit, for their kingdom are on the lake of fire. The trough of Dan, the trough of Asher, the trough of Naphtali. No matter where you are, Abba Yahweh said, don't let his patience run out against you. Don't let Abba Yahweh anger go against you. The time is now, my brethren, my families, 
you're gonna be destroyed if you don't want to listen to Papa. Now we turn to the west and we call the tribe of Levi's to the tribe of Joseph to the tribe of Benjamin, the son of Saul. Abaya, we asking you, Levi's, my fellow brothers and sisters, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, the time is now. Abaya, we see, come out of the Babylonian system. Come out from the pagan societies. Come out from the religious system. Come out from the deception of this wicked world. The world has nothing good to offer to you. All the good gift came from above or Israel, the tribe of Levi's, my fellow brothers and sisters. Is it time now to stop by fighting between two opinions? If Yahweh is your creator, then follow Yahweh. But if Baal is your creator, then follow Baal. But the judgment day is out. This is the time now for the children of Israel to stop by follow the Jewish fibers. The worst asana, the Yom Kippur, the worst sonnets, the Thanksgivings, the mother days and father days. Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, President Day, Martin Luther King birthday. All those are nothing but pagans are the days. I by always say, I destroyed those Canaanites, the Atatai, the Gebusa, the Ava, the Anoites because of their doing so abaya way warning you command you not to follow to destroy all those altars do not mix with them do not yoke together with them because i destroyed them because of too much abomination do I hate and you're doing the same thing the job of levers you know the jewel the choice is yours the job of Benjamin remember your mother died to just give you birth the job of Joseph your father was the one he loved more Remember the coat your father gave it to you as a sign of a covenant, as a sign of love. No matter where you are, in your turn, don't be afraid. In your turn, I permit it. Return to Yahweh, and Yahweh, your creator, will return to you also. Now we turn to the west and we call it the tribe of Rubens, to the tribe of Shimeon, to the tribe of God. Abayawe give you the opportunity to repent from your wicked ways. Abayawe warning you, no matter where you are today, 
to listen to the sound of the shofar. Not to follow the Jewish traditions about was Ashana, the deceptions, the big lies, ever. But to listen to its word. Come out of her, my people. Start by celebrating the pagans' holidays. Yes, Shufa. It is a time now to listen to Yahweh, your creator, if you love him. If you don't love him, you have no obligation whatsoever. If you not acknowledge Yahweh as your creator, you have no obligation. That's what? The day is coming. The day of Yahweh vengeance is near. The judgment of Yahweh is already upon the earth. Look around the people who are living in the United States of America. What do you see? Confusions, sickness, killing, lying. Even the fish and the sea dying because of you. Because of your sin. No matter where you are, the highway, if you are sleeping, it's time to wake up. It's a time to take the garment of the wickedness and to put a garment of the righteousness. Enter into Yahweh gate of righteousness. With mercy, love, and be glad. And Yahweh is the part thing. Stop by celebrating those pagans' holidays. If you are of the house of Israel, as Messiah Yeshua say almost 2,000 years ago, no man can serve two masters. No servant can serve two masters. Are you a citizen of the United States of America? Are you a citizen of Yahweh Kingdom? You celebrate Independence Day, July the 4th. What about the Sabbath day? The July the 4th is not the only sign. Martin to a king birthday is not the only sign. St. Valentine's Day is not the only sign. Yom Kippur is not the only sign. Watch Kodesh is not the only sign. But the Sabbath day is the only sign between Yahweh and you throughout your generation. You rejected the commitment of Yahweh because there is no drink, there is no sex, there is no party. You reject it in order to honor what pleases you. It's what pleases your creator. My friends, I don't believe in luck, but good luck to all of you. When you look at, at your watch or at your clock, if it's too late, you make it too late for yourself. You orations. Erif Aye, Vigade Rati, Vanitka, Yahweh Tesu Viga, Arre, Beshem Yashua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. May the expression of my mouth and the thought of my mind, for I favor before you, Yahweh, my rock, and my redeemer in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. O Shashem Temayim. Visashi a Yeshua Amasiak. And with joy you should draw water from the fountain of Yeshua Amasiak. Matovu. All of Lee are your tent, O Yahakov. You are in place, O Israel. Yahweh, through your abundant goodness. 
I will enter your house. And I will bow down toward your second part sanctuary. Yahweh. I love the house where you dwell. And the place where your steam resides. I should put myself. And bow. And bend the knee before you, Yahweh, my maker. As for me. But as for me. I do not know about you, my friends. But as for me. Me, my prayer is to you, Yahweh. According to your will. O Abba, Yahweh. And your abundant righteousness. Answer me with the truth. Answer me with the truth of your salvation. Come, come, my beloved, to welcome the bride of the presence of Shabbat. We receive, observe, and remember. And one ultimate terence we heard from the ones and only one are by Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Yahweh is one, and Yahweh name is one. For remember, for splendor, for praise, come, come, my beloved, come. It's the invitations, come, come, my beloved. Shake off the dust of your feet and arise, O house of Israel. Dress in the garment of esteem of my people, Israel. To the son of Yitzhak, the Bethlehemite, with damson, draw near to my soul. Come, come, my beloved, don't let it be too late. Wake up, wake up, O Israel, for your lies has come. Awaken, awaken, sing a song, for the same of Yahweh is revealed to you. Come, come, my beloved. Leka the day. Come, 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 my beloved. Barukata Yahweh Eloheno Merek Ara Uram Ashen. Vizano Venet Rata Glano et Yahshua Meshayano. Visit Vano Lehe Oram. Alel, lo Yahweh. Bless are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who has sanctified the children of Israel and his word, and has given the children of Israel Yahshua Amashiach, and commanded the children of Israel to be the light of the Sabbath. But instead of for them to be the light of the Sabbath, they are the darkness to the Sabbath. Barukata Yahweh Eloheno Mirek Ala Oram Ashe. Kisano Bedmis Vuta. Vivis Vano Drakir Nel Sabbath. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Hallel. Lu Yahweh. Bless are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who sanctified the children of Israel with his commandments and command the children of Israel to be the light of the Shabbat, not the Jewish people, the children of Israel, to be the light of the Sabbath, not the darkness, not to follow the Jewish people, the children of Israel, not the black Hebrew Israelites, the chosen one, the children of Israel. And the name of Yahushua Amashiach. Beshem Yahushua Amashiach. And let's say, Hallel, Lu Yahweh. May Abba Yahweh make you and bless you just like Abraham. May Abba Yahweh bless you and make you just like Yitzhak. May Abba Yahweh bless you and make you just like Yahakov. Who later become Israel. May Abba Yahweh bless you and make you just like Sarah. May Abba Yahweh bless you 
and make you just that whisker. May our by our way bless you and make you just like Leah. May our by our way bless you and make you just like Russell. Baruch et Yahweh amivram le uram. Bless Yahweh, the blessed one. Baruch et Yahweh amivram le uram vayed. Bless is the blessed one for all eternity. 3500 years ago. About is it Zakom a yom i a Shabbat. A cardo she she a aimahem ta a avod va a she ta kor be avata. Remember the Sabbath day to obey its set apart. Six days shall you live on. But the seven days is the day of Yahweh, your creator. On the Sabbath day, you shall do any work. For in six days Yahweh made the paradise, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. And then Yahweh rested on the seventh day, not on the first day of the week. Not for you to pick and choose. Just like Jehovah Witness say, you can pick and choose. So Yahweh don't care till you keep it days okay. But Yahweh says six days. You should do your labor. Abba Yahweh doesn't leave any room for any man to choose and pick for him which day he was blessed. That's the other deception from the Jehovah Witnesses. And Yahweh said to Moshe, he speak also to the children of Israel, not to the Jewish people. Not to the black Hebrew Israelites, not to Jehovah Witness, not to the Muslim, not to the Buddhas, not to the Christianity, not to the Judaism, not to the Catholic, but to the children of Israel. Saying, truly, my Sabbath, hello, my Sabbath, you shall obey. For it is a sign, a token. A mark between me and you throughout your generations, throughout your generations, as as a perpetual covenant, that you may know that I am Yahweh to sanctify you. So if Yahweh doesn't sanctify you, there is no way you can do. So the children of Israel must observe the Shabbat, observing the Sabbath throughout their generation as a comparison, as an everlasting covenant, not a contract. A covenant is for life. For the Sabbath day is the only sign between me and the children of Israel forever, le ram vayed, forever, for all eternity. That is a covenant. For life. For in six days Yahweh made the paradise and the earth, and on the seventh days Yahweh rested and was refreshed. And it came to pass from one Sabbath to another Sabbath, all flesh, all flesh, all flesh should come to Paul to worship me, said Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Barukata Yahweh Erohenu Mirek Ala Uram Ashe Natan Rano Ederek At Yahshua Amashiach Hallel Hallel Lu Yahweh Blessed are you Yahweh our, our King of the Universe who has given the children of Israel the way of salvation and Yahshua Amashiach and Yahshua Blessed are you Yahweh our Abba King of the universe, who has given the children of Israel, not the black Hebrew Israelites, not the Jewish people, not the Protestants, not the Seven-day Adventists, not the Jehovah Witness, 
with the children of Israel. The way of salvation in Yeshua Amashiach. In Yeshua Amashiach. Not in Buddha, not in TMS, not in Yasha, Aya, that Aya, but in Yeshua Amashiach. Israel, yes, that's the comment then. 35 hundred years ago, on the book of Devarim, on the book of Deuteronomy, 6 chapter, verse 4, Moshe said, Shema Israel, Shema Israel, Yahweh el Roheno, Yahweh el Har, Baruch Shem Kevot Makotod, Le'uram, Vahayed. Shema Israel, Shema Israel, Yahweh el Roheno, Yahweh el Har. Shema Israel, Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Elhad, Yahweh Bakun, Bakutum Wadutum, Leoram Vayed, Shema Israel, Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu. Ye o Israel, Yahweh is our Abba, Yahweh is one. Blessed is the name of Yahweh's same kingdom for all eternity. The Olam. The Olam Vahid. This scripture said, And you shall love Yahweh, your creator, with all your might. How many of you today who love Yahweh, your creator, with all your might? No. You love your pagans' holidays more. With all your soul and with all your might. And every this word which I am command you this day be upon your mind. And you should teach the commandments to your children diligently. And speak of my commandments when you sit in your house. When you walk by the way, when you sleep in, when you wake up in the morning and you should buy my commandment for a sign upon your hand and let my commandment be a frontless between your eyes and you should write my commandments on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates and you should love that neighbor as the self. Mika Muka by him lay him Yahweh. Mika Muka. Nidas Bakudes. Nura Terote Osefele. Hallelujah. Who is like the Yahweh among the Almighty Ones? Who is like the Yahweh esteem and certipotness? You are handsome and praise. What can one do is Yahweh? Who is like thee, O Yahweh? Nobody can be like Yahweh. King David realized at one time how good Yahweh was. He said, O do le Yahweh, O do le Yahweh kitov, ki le oram kadosh, O do, O do, O do le Yahweh kitov. Give thanks to Yahweh, O children of Israel. For Yahweh is good. Yes, he is good. Yahweh mercy. Yahweh mercy. Forever. Forever. Le Uram Vayed. That is the name of Yahweh. And those. My friends. Yahweh Sefat Teha. Ophiage Teha Asha. Bishem Yeshua, Hamashiach, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Louis O Yahweh, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise, and the name, the only name, give above any man can receive salvation, Yahushua, Hamashiach. Let all of us say hallelujah away. Praise be to Yahweh. 
Baruch Ata Yahweh Eloheinu of Abraham, Eloheinu Yitzhak, Eloheinu Yaakov, Aer Akador, Akibor, the Anor Aer El Elion, Gumarte Satem Vavei, Vonater Akor Tufase, Kadas Avol, Omeve, Go Erra Ehera, Vena Erra Ma Ahant, Se move a Ava, Melek a Oze, O Mesa a Mogen, Barukata a Yahweh, Magen, Abraham. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba. Oh, hallelujah. The father of our forefathers, the father of Abraham, the father of Yitzhak, the Abba of Yaakov, who later become Israel. The great almighty and handsome Abba. The Abba who besought grace and create all. And remember the kindness of the fathers. And bring a redeemers to their children, children, for Yahweh's sake. With love. Yahweh, O Melech of Israel, helper, savior, and shield of Abraham. If I buy away can be my gain, Abraham, my gain means shield. If I buy away can bless Abraham. If I buy away can be my gain, Abraham. If you are obedient, just like Abraham, I buy away can be also your shield. The choice is yours. You are almighty, I buy away forever. You raise the dead. You sustain the living with grace. Resurrect the dead with abundant mercy. Of all the falling are by Yahweh and heal the sick. Are by Yahweh. Set those free who are in bondage. And keep the faith are by Yahweh to those that sleep in the dust. Who is that you, Yahweh? Master of Almighty deeds, and Yahweh, who can compare to you, Melech of Israel, who causes death and restores life, and makes salvation spot. And you are faithful, Yahweh, to resurrect the dead. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who resurrects the dead. Yahweh, our Abba. The Abba of our fathers. May you be pleased with the children of Israel race. Sanctify the children of Israel in your commitments. And grant the children of Israel the portion of your Torah. Satisfy the children of Israel from your goodness. And make the children of Israel rejoice in your salvation. Purify the children of Israel might to serve you and shoot and love and favor. Yahweh, our Abba. God, the children of Israel, your set apart Shabbat as an heritage. And may Israel who sanctify your name, Yahweh, waste the end. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who sanctify the Shabbat and the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. I by Yahweh, I'm asking you to be favorable towards your people Israel. Turn their prayer and restore the service to Yahweh, the most difficult place in your temple. It's pity accept the fine offering of your people Israel with love and compassion, forgiveness, and favor. May the service of your people Israel may be always favorable to you, Yahweh, my work and my regiment. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to establish shalom, goodness, blessing, life, graciousness, Kindness, compassion upon us 
and upon all your people Israel. Bless us our by Yahweh for all of us as one. With the lie of your continents, with the lie of your continents, you give us Yahshua Amasiak. Yahshua Amasiak, the Torah of life, the Torah of love, kindness, righteousness, blessing, compassion, life, and shalom. May be good and your eyes are by our way to bless us and to bless all your people, Israel, and every season and every hour with your shalom, with your abundant strength and shalom. Bless are you, Yahweh, who bless his people, Israel, with shalom. My beloved brothers and sisters, today is a Sabbath day of our prayer. No matter where you are, no matter what is going on into your life, you might be taking the whole world going to fall upon you. You might be thinking the wave is coming just to destroy you. But our prayer will want to let you know the wave you see is coming after you is not to destroy you but is to clean you from your filthiness is to set you apart from the unclean things when it say you must not touch anything unclean let's acknowledge our prayer way and let everyone who has the breath of life be grateful and thanks our Bayaway. For our Bayaway is the only creator. Our Bayaway is our Father. Yahweh is our Maker. And Yahweh is our Creator. And the Father of our forefathers for all eternities. Our Rock. The work of our lives, shields of our salvations. Are you are from generations to generations, Yahweh? We must thanks our bad Yahweh. And we let our praise to our bad Yahweh for our life. We are committed to our bad Yahweh power. And for our souls that are unjust into Yahweh and for your miracle with Yahweh that are with us and every day and every season for your wonders and favors to every season any morning and afternoon the benevolent one Yahweh for your compassion will never be exhausted and the compassionate one, Yahweh, for your kindness will never be ended. For we have always put our hope in you, O Abba, Yahweh, of mercy, of compassion. Look at the affection of your people, Israel, who are scattered away in the four corners of the earth. For all these things, Abba, Yahweh, may your name, Yahweh, be blessed. Exalted, extolled. Our kings, our milk of Israel, continually, forever and ever. The Oram Vayed. Everything's alive. Everyone's alive today. Let's be grateful to Abba Yahweh. Let's be acknowledged Abba Yahweh as the creator of the universe. And let's praise and bless be the great name of Yahweh, the Almighty Creator, forever. For Yahweh is good, O oh, Yahweh, our salvations, help Abba Yahweh, the benevolent ones, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Now, 
it is a time for the Kedusha Hashem, Yahweh. It's a time now to receive the sanctifications of the name of Yahweh. Every single of you has the custom. It's not the tradition, it's a custom. There's a difference between traditions and custom. Tradition cannot be proven. The custom can be proven. You can prove according to the scripture. Tally is a custom. But by not covering your head is a tradition of men. Every one of you to receive the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh, your head must be covered. No matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, Yahweh doesn't care what you believe or not what you believe. He quit everything for his own pleasure. Obedience is better than sacrifices. It's a warning and it's a command. It's not a choice. Your choice, if you know, refuse to go according to what the word said, you will not going to receive any blessing. That's your choice. Every one of you, the children of Israel, must be a, a tally, a head cover. If you don't have a tally, whatever you get, cover it of yourself. Don't be naked. Adam was naked. He tell Yahweh, I'm naked, I was hiding. How many of you are ashamed today by walking naked in the street? You don't show Yahweh no respect, no fear, no love, no nothing. For the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. You listen to the word of Yahweh. Not according to those pastors, to those elders, tradition, or to the rabbi, to the Jewish tradition. That you listen to Yahweh. That you must be obedient. There is no middle ground. There is no verse versa. There is no in between. The only way to receive the sanctification, to receive the blessing in the name of Yahweh, it is a must. To have a tally. If you don't have no tally, get a towel, get everything and cover it up yourself. Don't be naked. Show Yahweh respect, love, and honor. As a king, as your creator, as your maker, and as your father. Show him respect. Cover up yourself, please. Kedusha means sanctification. Hashem of the name. And Yahweh is the name. Your physical head cover, yes. It's not spiritual head cover. Talita Kuma. Enter into your closet. It's when you get your tali. You enter in your closet. Ata Kadosh Vishim Ka Kadosh. You Kedoshim Bekelyom Yuharuka Yahweh. Ti Ermele Kadur. Bekadash Ata. Barukata Yahweh. A er, a kadosh. Ata kadosh ve simka kadosh. You kedoshim ve keryom you are kayahuin. Ki er nerek ador ve kadash ata. Barukata yahuin. A er, a kadosh. Yahuin. You are such a pot. In your name, Yahweh, is set apart. And the one you set apart praise you every day, forever. Le Uram Vayed. For you are Yahweh, the set apart, the great I am, the set apart, Melech of Israel. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the set apart creator. Yahweh, you are such a part. Kadosh, Yahweh, you are such a part. 
And your name, Yahweh, is certified. And the one you are certified praise you every day. For you are Yahweh, the great and certified Melech of Israel. Blessed are you, Yahweh. The certified Abba. The certified creator. The certified maker. Bishem Yahshua Amasiak. In the name of Yahshua Amasiak. Hallelujah. Thank you. Abba Yahweh. For your mercy. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to my fellow citizens, to my world family, to the viewers, the listeners, those who are the house of Israel, those who are not of the house of Israel, those who are called and those who are chosen. May our by Yahweh bless every one of you. Welcome. To listen to the word of Abba Yahweh. You're all welcome. You are invited to listen to the word of Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, no one to leave nobody behind. You can leave yourself behind, but Yahweh no want you to leave you behind. As we know, it's a custom, not a tradition. The airplane will be take off. As a custom, you get to know who is your cast, cast, your captain name, your pilot name, your flight number, in order for you to be buckled up and put your seat belts. Make sure your passport, your ticket at the seal of Yahweh Kingdom, because if you're not the seal of Yahweh Kingdom, you're not going to be able to get into the airplane. But those who have the seal, who have the mark of Yahweh, be blessed. Your captain, yes, is Yahshua Amasiak. And the flag number is 777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777
so you can able to call me directly if you want to ask any questions your question would be answered if you feel like thumbs up love anything is in whatever you feel you can break up the screen but only one thing let's do everything according to the orderly because Abba Yahweh is not the author of confusions and you don't accept anybody any troublemaker but the peacemaker are welcome but the troublemakers are not welcome may Abba Yahweh bless all of you and thank you for your cooperation and thank you for your meekness. Now, let's wait now to go to work. Are we ready? Are we ready? May Abba Yahweh bless all of you. For almost 2,000 years, the children of Israel have been misled. For almost 2,000 years, the children of Israel has been lied. For there is so many faiths. So many traditions of men. The children of Israel fight away the rejected Yahweh commandments in order to honor their own traditions. Today, we're going to take a trip to our the scripture to see exactly where all those pagan holidays coming from. If they come from Yahweh or they come from Satan. Since the beginning, our by Yahweh has distinguished between darkness and light. But today, the majority of people living on the face of the earth, they thought or they think they are living in light, but when they are living on the darkness. Something we thinking we have everything. But it's a contrary. Let's start to work. Let's take the book of Second Thessalonians 2 chapter, verse 11. Please, let's start to work. May Abba Yahweh bless you. Meet your finger in the way for Abba Yahweh to bless every one of you. May Abba Yahweh. Thanks. Shabbat Shalom to all of you. And welcome about me. The book of 2 Thessalonians, 2 chapter, verse 11, please. Let us start to see what's taken, please. The book of 2 Thessalonians, 11 chapter. The book of 2 Thessalonians, 2 chapter, verse 11. There is so many faiths. So many deception. It's not about Yahweh, it's about business. Thank you, my beloved Shina. And for this came Yahweh, cause Yahweh to set then a strong or powerful delusions that they should believe in lies. Woo, hallelujah. That's deep. That's more than the deep. For Yahweh send them spirit strong of spirit of delusions who they must believe in lies thank you my beloved christopher shabbat shalom to you my beloved may abba yahweh shalom be with you so yahweh will cause them to be greatly deceived that the soul believes in lie Yahweh for Yahweh will cause Yahweh should send them a strong delusions that the soul believe in lies Shabbat Shalom, my beloved Joe. May Abba Yahweh bless you and your family as well. For this reason, what is the reason? For this reason, 
Yahweh sent the children of Israel a powerful delusions so that they will believe the lies. Hello? You believe in something? You want it? I will give it to you. I said, when you have a child, he asks you for the heart okwa, you give it to him in his hand. You know okwa, right? When you give somebody okwa in his hand, what's going to happen? It's going to burn. That's what we're doing. For this reason, because they are refused to obey to Yahweh's commandments, they always say, okay, you don't want to believe me? Guess what? I'm going to deal with you. Yahweh send the children of Israel a powerful delusion so that they may believe the lies. That's the reason why we see those things happen. It's not an accident. It's not a coincidence. Next, we're going to keep on pursuing. There's no next. 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 No one else. Okay, let's pursue it. Verse 12, please. Verse 12. Verse 12. Let's pursue it. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on moving. Keep on moving and keep on going. We got a work to do. Oh, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to you, my beloved. How you doing? And for the cause, Yahweh shall send the children of Israel strong spirit of delusion that they may, they should believe and lie. And for this reason, for the disobedience of the children of Israel, Yahweh shall send the children of Israel strong spirit of delusion, spirit of delusions that they may believe and lies. My beloved Christopher. Yes. Okay. All right. My beloved Shab Sina. Oh, you is there? <laughs> How are you doing? Shabbat shalom to you. I think you was off today. You is still here? Thank you. We are we bless you. That the children of Israel, all of them might be damned into belief, not to the truth of Yahweh. But as pleasure in doing the wrong things. As pleasure to doing the wrong things. The damn of the word of Yahweh. They don't want to refuse. They refuse to listen to the word of Yahweh. But they always want to listen to the word of Satan. Let me see my beloved Joel. And so that they will be condemned who not enough believe the truth but have delight and weakness. Hello. Hallelujah. The scripture is speaking. My beloved naked that they all may be condemned. Hello? All may be what? Condemned. All may be condemned who don't believe the truth. Hello? Are we there? But as pleasure and righteousness, I mean, as weakness and unrighteousness, they have pleasure on feast of trumpets was a sana was Kodesh, Yom Kippur, was Ashana, Thanksgiving days, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, Sunday worship, all those abominations. Let me see my Shabbat Shalom Baptist, that the all might be, all might be them who believe not the truth, but as no pleasure but eyes, but add no pleasure, and have the pleasure and unrighteousness. Yes. They are condemned themselves 
why they condemn themselves is because they are refused to accept the truth, they reject the truth. As this song says, my people are destroyed because they are refused to listen to the word of Yahweh. Next, Anoka, yes, Anoka, the feast of Zizibels, the beast of poems, the beast of Torah Shimka, <laughs> they have all kind of pagans holidays. When Yahweh say three times a year. Now, let's go to the verse 13, please. Let's keep on going. We get locked the door. Verse 13, please. Second Thessalonians. Two chapter and verse 13. Let's see what it says. The book of Second Thessalonians. Two chapter verse 13, please. We don't supposed to be going to those holy days today, but Yahweh want it. Let Yahweh will be done. Sorry, we're not going to the schedule as usual. But I'm not in control. Yahweh is in control. You do what, whatever you want. So sometimes I will have to do this. Yahweh say, uh-uh, you're going to do my will. I have to be obedient to Yahweh. For all those who was count, you know, according to the schedule, the schedule may be later when if I want, but now it's about Yahweh. You don't want to leave his people in the darkness for all the confusions, the contradictions, the deceptions going on. So Yahweh has to do what he has to do. It's not about Daniel, it's about Yahweh. It's Yahweh do. I cannot say no. It's not something I was expected. That is happening. Second Thessalonians. Two chapter verse 13, please. They want blood to drink. Yahweh give them blood to drink. Thank you, my beloved sinner. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, children of Israel who are beloved of Yahweh. Very careful, my beloved Shina. You say Yahuwah. We're not in Yahuwah. Because of Yahweh. Correction, my beloved Shina. You make Yahuwah. My beloved Christopher, as for us, we cannot help. But thanks Yahweh for you. Dear brothers and sisters, Loved by Yahweh, we are always thankful to you. That's only we can help is to thank our by Yahweh for you. As a brother, as a sister who are a struggle for our by Yahweh to always give thanks. My beloved Nikki. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you always give thanks to Yahweh for you because Yahweh has rescued you from the darkness brethren beloved of Yahweh because Yahweh has from the beginning my beloved Sina corrections that we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for Yahweh's children of Israel who are beloved of Yahweh since the beginning of the foundation of the book. My beloved Joe, it's going to be next. Thank you, my beloved Joe. But we are to always thanks our by Yahweh for you. Always thanks our by Yahweh for you, my brothers and sisters. Love by our by Yahweh. Because Yahweh chose you since the foundation of the earth. Whatever you see, Yahweh call you out. But you was already created you to be who you are. It's not an accident and it's not a coincidence. 
Might be no Shabbat Shalom Baptist. But we are bound. Bound to become one. To give thanks always to Yahweh for you. Brethren, beloved of Yahweh. Because Yahweh has from the beginnings have chosen you to do Israel. There is no accident. And there is no coincidence in whatever you see happen today. Now, let's go to the book of Matthew, 15 chapter and verse 14, please. The book of Matthew, it straight up with the cases. Matthew, 15 chapter verse 14. Matthew, 15 chapter and verse 14, please. Matthew. 15 chapter in verse 14. Matityahu. 15 chapter in verse 14, please. Just to establish the evidence of the case about the feast of trumpet. Where is the feast of trumpet is coming from? Why is the people has to do what they're doing? Why is they always love to follow the crowds? You do not know when you follow the crowds, you always get lost. The book of Matthew, 15 chapter verse 14, please. The book of Matthew, 15 chapter and verse 14, please. Leave them. They are blind gods. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, my beloved Joel. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. So ignore them. They are blind guys. Let them be blind. If any one blind persons lead another, they will both fall into the dish. Leave them alone. Ignore them. Don't bother them because they are blind. That you might be loved sinner. Let them religious leaders alone because they are blind leaders. Hallelujah. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall as the same dish. If you are blind, your leaders also blind. Both of you. You know what's going to be happen? That's why I say, going to fall at the same dish. Same bit. Let me see my beloved Nikki. Let them alone. For they are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall at the, into the same dish. Leave them alone. Because they are blind leaders. They are blind. They cannot see. And the deaf also, they cannot hear. So leave them alone. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Let them alone. They be blind leader of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both so fault are the same dishes. What which is going on all over the world today? Blind lead another blind. That's the scripture. Let me see my beloved Jack and Jesus. Let them alone. Let those Pharisees, those hypocrites, those teachers of the law alone. They refuse to listen. They refuse to take shuva. They think they ask everything for them. That's why I say, let them. Let the blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, both shuffles into the dish. That is a trap. When you are blind, your pastor is so it's blind. Your rabbi, your spiritual leaders, your elders. They are blind. Who can lead another? No one. That's the 
price to pay when you are a blind and you follow another blind. If I'm blind, you are blind. Can you lead me? Can I lead you? Are we see where are we going? No. One has to see in order to lead the other one to the world. But today, it's not what you see. A blind can think they can lead another blind. It's not the way it should be, but it's happened today. Now, let's go to the book of Yeshia with the book of Isaiah, 9 chapter verse 16. The book of Isaiah, Yeshia with 9 chapter verse 16, please. The book of Isaiah, 9 chapter verse 16. Sound like a plank need to be removed from the leaders' eyes before taking the splinter out of the congregation. There's a lot of works to do, quick. Lot. I don't think that's what we're going to be doing one today. The book of Isaiah, Yeshua, 9 chapter verse 16, please. The book of Isaiah, 9 chapter verse 16, please. The book of Isaiah, 9 chapter verse 16. The book of Isaiah, 9 chapter verse 16, please. The book of Yeshua, 9 chapter verse 16. For the leaders of these people caused them to err against Yahweh. And that a leg of them are destroyed. Thank you, my beloved Sina. My beloved Nikki. For the leaders of the children of Israel caused them to err. And they who are left by them are destroyed. Listen what shall we say to you? My beloved Christopher. For those religious leaders who lead these people of Israel have been leading them straight. And those who are lead them are left the destroy. My beloved Greek, thank you. Those who guide the children of Israel misled them. And those who are guided are led straight. Let me see my beloved Jack and Georges. For the leaders of the children of Israel caused them to err. They that left of them are destroyed. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. For the leaders of the children of Israel caused them to err. Misled them, caused them to live in darkness. That are who led, they are destroyed. Let me see my beloved P.P. Hawkins. Shabbat Shalom to you. For the leaders of these people, the children of Israel, caused them to live in error and mistake. Those who are led by them are destroyed. My beloved Jew, those who guard the children of Israel misled them. Misled them. Uh, and those who are guided are led straight. Thank you, my beloved Jew. Those who are guided the children of Israel misled them. All those black Hebrew Israelites misled the children of Israel. All the Jewish people misled the children of Israel. All those pastors and ministers, especially black Hebrew Israelites, they are misled. Those on the camp, they are misled the children of Israel. They misled them. 
Because the blind cannot lead another blind. Let me see my beloved Nikki. For the leaders of the children of Israel caused them to live in darkness, misled them, deceived them, error. And the who are led the children of Israel are destroyed. Are we there? Those leaders of the children of Israel caused them to live in error. They are deceived them. They are misled them. They are lied to them because a blind cannot lead another blind. That's why today they end up in Yom Kippur, Yom Tehruah, was Asana, was Goddess, Feast of Trumpets, all kind of pagans holidays. Who create them? Where they are coming from? It's not of Yahweh. Three times is three times. I'm sorry, my friends. Now, let's read the book of Matthew 23, chapter verse 24. The book of Matthew 23, chapter and verse 24. The book of Matthew, Matthew, 23, chapter and verse 24, please. The book of Matthew, 23, chapter and verse 24, please. The book of Matthew, 23, chapter and verse 24. Let's see what Messiah Yahshua has to say to those leaders. They start to confront the Pharisees, the teachers of the laws, the Sadducees and the scribes 2,000 years ago. They slap today. All those spiritual leaders, those pastors, those ministers, those rabbis, the word of Yahweh challenge you today also. Those elders on the camp, those black Hebrew Israelites who taken they know everything. You buy your, your guides, you straight out a knock of swallow a camel. You blind guide. That's why I call you blind guides. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. You blind guides who strength at a knock and swallow a camel. Hello? That's a big problem. That's a big problem. Blind guides who stretch your water as you want accidentally swallow a knock. But you swallow a camel. Hello? That's deep. That's deep. Blind guides, you stretch your water so you won't accidentally swallow a knack, but you swallow a camel. Hello? Let me see my beloved Joel. You blind guides, you stretch out a knack, but swallow a camel. Let me see my beloved Christopher. Blind guides, hypocrites. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You stretch your water, so you won't accidentally swallow it knock, but you swallow it comes. Hallelujah. That's deep. To turn a leader who taken they are wise, they are have everything, they have the lies, and they are in the darkness. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. You blind guys, we straight at a knot and swallow a camel. Let me see my beloved Jacqueline Georges. He blind God with strength of a knot and swallow a camel. Mm. Swallow a camel. You see how big our camel is? <laughs> For somebody to swallow it, that's the word. But they don't understand. You blind leaders, you will straight out a, a small fly, but you swallow a camel. 
Thank you, my beloved P.P. Hawkins. You blind leaders, you straight out a small fly, but you swallow a commerce. You, I mean, that's a big thing. You straight out a small fly, but then they swallow a camel. A fly is nothing, just smaller, just like a mustard seed. Well, that's why they say they are by grace. They don't even know what grace is anyway. So this is what our Bayahweh, Bridget Williams, may our Bayahweh bless you. You blind guys, you straight at the knock and swallow a comet. Not just like a fly, just like a little dead, a little seed. You strengthen them and you swallow a camel. That's a big problem. Just that like those leaders, they are just like those Pharisees and the teachers of the laws in the time of Yahshua Amasiak. That's why they have so many confusions. Because they see the small picture, they don't see the big picture. They don't see the swallow a camel when they just a straight a little fly. They don't want to do the little fly anything, but they swallow a camel. Do you see how many people they are deceived? Do you know how many people those black Ibu Israelites are misled? That's why they swallow a camel. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. It's not a, a small margin, it's a big, big margin, and they believe on them. Now, let's go to the book. The same chapter, but now, let's go to the verse 24, please. Let's go to the verse 15, Matthew 24. 22 15 please Matthew 23 chapter verse 15 Matthew 23 chapter verse 15 Matthew 23 chapter in verse 15 Matthew 23 chapter in verse 15 please Matthew 23 chapter in verse 15. It just tried to establish the evidence. Thank you, my beloved Greek. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. Who? You travel all over the land and see to when a single converted, when you find one. You make them twice of the son of hell. Hello? Hello? They told you they have everything you need. But when you are coming, what they do to you? They make you twice of the son of hell. That's why you see all those people in the camp. They can be good all they can. But when going to the camp, they become polluted and corrupted. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Why sorrow await you teachers of religious law and you Pharisees, hypocrites? They start those pastors, those ministers, those elders on the camp, those black Hebrew Israelites. That's why the Jewish people, those rabbis, that's why I'm talking to you. Why sorrow await you teachers of religious law? And you Pharisees, hypocrites. You know a person called a person hypocrites? Those spiritually, they, they are both of hypocrites. For you cross land and sea to make one covert. When you find one, you make him twice the sum of hell as you. You make them twice the son of hell as you. Instead of to fix them, instead of to teach them to do the right thing, you teach them about corruption, deception, lies, sex, fornication, adultery, polygamy, and polygamy. 
Let us see my beloved boy, Jet William. Go into you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you can pass sea and land to make one postulate. And when he is made, you make him twice the son of hell as you are. All those black Hebrew Israelites, there is no one ever go to them to come back normal. Because they become worse and the worse. Let's see my beloved Christopher. What to you scribes and the Pharisees, hypocrites? You know when people say, give you all kind of respect, and at the end, they call you hypocrites. For you can pass the sea and land to make one postulate. And when he has made one, you make him twice the son of hell as you. Let me see my beloved Joel. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You travel over the land and say to when one single converted, one. And when you find it, you make him twice the son of hell as you. When you see people going to the camp, what you see them? How do you see them? They are confused, they are lost, more they was dead in because those people, blind leaders, teach them about corruptions. It's about sex, it's about pleasure, it's about festivals, it's about holidays. There is nothing about Yahweh there for you. What are you waiting for? That's why I better always say come out of her he is a warning he is a commandment he is a way for our by we don't say you do not know let me see my beloved shabbat sharon baptist grow into you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you can pass sea and land to make one postulate but when you find one you make it twice the son of hell as you are. When you see the camp, what do you see? Messiah so I say you shall know them by the fruit, by the actions. If you cannot see them, recognize them for who they are, that means you are really blind. So a blind cannot lead another blind. My friends. The truth gonna hurt some, the truth gonna help some. The truth is a two-edged sword. Yeshua is a two-edged sword. Gonna cut to left and right. It's up to you to know what you're looking for. Now, let's see the book of Luke. Luca 6 chapter verse 39, please. The book of Luke. Thank you, my beloved PP Hoskins. You Pharisees and teachers of the law of Moshe are unfortunate. You are nothing but a slew, a show of who? Oh, hallelujah. That's a good one. P.P. Hopkins. That's a good translation. You Pharisees and teachers of the law of Moshe are in for trouble. They are in for trouble. They are in for trouble. You are nothing but show off. You travel over the land and the sea to convert one. But when you find one, you make them twice the son of hell as you are. Hallelujah. Yes. You Pharisee and teacher of the law of Moshe are in for trouble. They are in for trouble. The rabbis are in for trouble. The black Hebrews are in for trouble. Whatever they're doing, they're doing nothing but to show off. Party everything. Let me see my beloved sinner. Then Yahshua give the following illustrations. Can one blind person lead another? When the both fall at the same dish? Hello. 
Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Then the first one gives the following parables. They don't understand. They say, can one blind person lead another blind? When the both of them eyes gonna be gone, they do this. They don't understand because they're so blinded by the tradition of men. They blinded. That's the same thing the black Hebrew Israelites. That's the same thing those rabbis, those spiritual leaders. They know they have everything. But as the scripture says, they are just there for a show up. Best clothes, best deeds, best deeds. No, they are there only for pleasure. But Yahweh, you have nothing. Hello, let me see what my beloved Bridget Williams has to say. Then Yahushua Amashiach also told the Pharisees, the teacher of the Lord, the Sadducees, this parable. Can the blind lead the blind? Will they not both fall into a pit? But nobody is no dead. Nobody is dead. They never think what Yahshua tell them. Because they are so blinded by the tradition of men. They never realize what Yahshua tell them. Let me see my beloved Nikki. And Yahushua spoke a parable to the Pharisees, to the teachers of the Lord, to the scribes. Can the blind lead the blind? He asked them a question. Can a blind lead another blind? So do not both fall at the same days. But you didn't ever understand what Mr. Ashua tell them. Because they were so blinded. They never realized they were blind. For for them, they see. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom. And Yahshua spoke a parable and to the Pharisees, the teachers of the law and the scribes. Can blind lead another blind? Hello, but now you see blind lead another blind. Just that like it was on the time of Yahushua Amasya. There's nothing new under the sun. Everything you see, there was already exist. Now you can see for yourself. How many blinds who lead other blinds? Those camp, those rabbis, those churches, those pastors. Jehovah Witness, the Buddha people, the Allah people, all them are nothing but deceiver. They are blind. They never realize they are blind. They think they are see. They think they have the light. Shabbat Shalom, Ozinta. <laughs> May Abba Yahweh bless you. Now, let's go to the book of John 9, chapter verse 39. The book of John, 9 chapter, and verse 39. It's just something I was ready, but Abba Yahweh make it happen. <laughs> I thanks Abba Yahweh, and I love Abba Yahweh. My friends, John 9 chapter, verse 39. Yahanan, Yahweh, Logev. The book of Yahanan, the book of John, 19 chapter and verse 39, please. The book of John, 9 chapter and verse 39. The book of John, 9 chapter verse 39. The book of John, Nice chapter verse 39, please. The book of Yahanan, thank you, my beloved great commentary, John 9, 39. Yahshua removed Jesus, my brother Greek. I do not know who Jesus is. Messiah Yahshua say, For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will, will see, and to those, yes, but you, you have to make a proper corrections. Abaya is not the author of confusions. You have to rewrite it again, my beloved. You cannot break in the rules. The rules is for everybody. I love you. But you get to do the right thing. I'm sorry. You have to redone it. Look, John 9, chapter 39. Thank you, my beloved Sina. The Yahushua told him, I enter into this world to win the judgment. 
to give sight to the blind and to show those who think they are see to become blind. Hello, that's not funny things. Thank you, my beloved Greek. Yahushua said, for judgments I have come into the world so that the blind, the blind, the blind can become see. And those who think they are see can become blind. Hello? That's not funny. That's the reason why I come into this world. Let me see my beloved Christopher. Then Yahshua said, told him, I enter into the world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind, and to show those who think they are sick to become blind. Hello! Somebody there? My beloved Bridget Williams. <laughs> Yahshua said, For judgment I have come in this world, so that the blind will see and those who are see will become blind. Because those Pharisees, those teachers of the laws, those scribes and the Sadducees, they was taken, they are not blind, they see. That's why I see. For that reason, I'm coming. Because you take, you see, I'm going to make you blind. But those who are blind, I'm going to make them see. Because you see, I'm going to make you blind. Because you're blind, but you tell me you see. So I'm going to make you blind. Let me see my beloved Nikki. And Yahushua say, For judgments I came into this world, that they who cannot see my see, and that they who are see my become blind. This is deep. This is very deep. For those pastors who go to theologian school, for those who are by who go into Talmud, who study Kabbalah, who study all kind of black magic, for those doctors, those scientists, they think they see, they think they are smart, but Yahweh said, guess what? I will make you blind. But those who are blind, I will make them see. That's the same thing Messiah so I say, go to the lost ship of the house of Israel. So if you are blind, yes, you are going to make you see. But if you take you see, yes, you are going to make you blind. When you are blind, you say you see. So your sin is going to be with men. You will die in your sin. Hello? That's not a little thing. Thanks. That's a big purpose. My beloved people, Hoskins, Yahushua say, I come to judge the people of this world. Hallelujah. I am here to give sign to the blind and to make blind to everyone who think they are see. Hallelujah. Hello. That's not funny. Those pastors, they think they see. Those elders on the camp, those black Hebrew Israelites, those who are by the tent, they think they see. But Yahshua said, because you think you are see, you're going to be blind. And those who are blind, I'm going to make them see. That's the reason why you see now Abayawe try to take his people one by one to make them see the light, to make them know the truth, to reveal to them himself. But those, they become blind and blind and blind and blind and blind. Yes, Baruch HaBab, Shem Yahweh. Bless who is come in the name of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yes, my beloved. Today is a day. Abba Yahweh say, ready or not, this is what it is. Now let's go to the book of 1 Timothy, 6 chapter verse 5, please. The book of 1 Timothy, 6 chapter verse 5. The book of 1 Timothy, 6 chapter and verse 5, please. The book of 1 Timothy, 6 chapter and verse 5. Let's see what he has to say. Thank you, my beloved. Hallelujah. The one opening the eyes of the blind. Yes. Praise Yeshua. Yes. He's the only one who can open up those who are blind. Just like the man who was born blind. He was not physical blindness. He was spiritual blindness. 
Sometimes you are at sea because of lack of wisdom. Proverbs disputing of men's or corrupt mind. And destitute of the truth. Supposing that gains is godliness from such wickedness if anything to do with them. My beloved second judges, because of the scholarship until today, they still bragged about the delusional knowledge. Of course, yes, they are pride because they are doctors, they are PhD, they are pastors, they have the degrees, they are everything. Thank you, my beloved Sina. These religious, those religious people always cause troubles. Hello, these religious people always cause what? Trouble. Always cause troubles. The mind are corrupted and they have turned the back into the truth. Those pastors, those elders, are you hear that? You turn your back from the truth, you turn your back from Yahweh. What you expect it? Supposing that gains of righteousness from source wisdom. No. My beloved Bridget Williams, the superversion people, disputings of men of club mind and distorted the truth. Supposing that gangs is righteousness from such there is none. My beloved Nicky, my beloved Christopher, these those people always cause trouble. Those pastors, they cause trouble. Those Jehovah Witness, they cause trouble, confusion. Those Jewish people, all of them cause confusion. Those black Hebrew Israelites, they're worse than ever. Those spiritual leaders, they're all looking for trouble. Because they are a corrupt mind, a robbed of the truth, and who think that the righteousness is okay when they have no wisdom. My beloved jewel, and the constant frictions between people of corrupt mind who have robbed of the truth and who take that righteousness is of the things they have when they do not understand. Yes, my beloved Shabbat Seven Baptist. Perverse disputings of men to rob a mind and destruction of the truth, supposing the gains is righteousness for such people have nothing to do with them. Stay away from those people. Are you going to stay away from them? I don't say it. Yahweh say it. It's up to you. P.P. Hopkins. The mind are sick and they lack to arguments over the words. That's what they're doing. The bearer of the word of Yahweh said to obey the word of Yahweh. They cause jealousy, disagreements, unkind words, evil, suspicious, have nothing to do with them. Nothing whatsoever. Flee from them. The scripture says, flee from evil. And Satan will flee from you. Their mind are sick. You can see those black Hebrew Israelites, those religious leaders. And they like to argue in over the words. Yes, they always want to debate it. But Yahweh is not a politician. It's what is not going to be on the debate, on the campaign. Our prayer reward is to obey, not to argue. To dispute or to debate, but to obey. Massive deceptions are the certain parts, spirit of Abba Yahweh. Hallelujah. 
Babylon mean confusions? Absolutely, yes. Is Satan's kingdom? Is a certain kingdom? Yes, we are living in a certain kingdom, definitely. Now, let's go to the book of Jeremiah 5, chapter verse 25. Jeremiah 5, chapter and verse 21. Jeremiah 5, chapter and verse 21. Let's see what he has to say. Jeremiah 5, chapter and verse 21. Jeremiah, Fab chapter, in verse 21, please. The book of Jeremiah, Fab chapter, in verse 21. The book of Jeremiah. Hear this now, O oh foolish people, without understanding. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Do you think those pastors, those elders, those rabbis, they understand about the word of Yahweh? No, because they are blind. They are deaf and they are mute. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Hear now this of foolish people who are without understanding, which have eyes to see, and see not, who have ears and hear not. <laughs> they have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. That's what happened to them. My beloved Christopher, listen, you foolish and senseless people with eyes that do not see and hear that do not hear. Hello? That's what happened to them. They are blind and they are deaf. Even you say something, they cannot hear. Even you give them something to eat, they are blind. They cannot read and they cannot see. They cannot Hey, nothing. If you cannot read, how can you can be understanding? It's in my beloved Nikki. Hear now these of foolish people without understanding. Without understanding. Those people without understanding. So that means those black Hebrew Israelites, those rabbis, those pastors, those ministers, those spiritual leaders, they are without understanding because the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and understanding. So they have no wisdom. They are very, very knowledgeable because of Satan knowledge. They are very smart. They are very intelligent, but they have no understanding. That's what happened today. Let me see my beloved Joe. He is your foolish and senseless people who have eyes but do not see, who have ears but do not hear. Hello. That's what happened to them. They read, but they can understand. Because they have no understanding. In order for you to have understanding when you eat, you have to have the Ruach HaKodesh. My beloved P.P. Hopkins, you fools, why don't you listen when I speak hallelujah? Why you cannot you understand? Why you cannot understand? Because they refuse to listen. Because they refuse to listen. Now I always say, okay, you get it here, get the swap. I will put a plug in it. You're not going to hear. Your eyes, you can see. I will darkness your eyes. That's why when your eyes is blind, all your body is darkness. Yeah, we do it that way. There is a verse of a death. Yes, let me see my beloved Robert Solomon Baptist. Foolish people and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, we have his, but he not. 
Abaya will set it to those. Now you get a choice if you're going to let blind and deaf lead you. They are blind, they are deaf. Are you going to go back to them? For them to destroy you more and they already destroy you? For them to deceive you more they already deceive you? For them to mislead you, the more they already misled you, is it time now to come out? If the time now for our by our way, mercy to be upon you, don't go back and don't look back. The time is now. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Now, let's take the book of Exodus. 24th chapter and verse 24. Let's see what he has to say to us. The book of Exodus, 34th chapter and verse 24. The book of Exodus, 34th chapter, verse 24. The book of Shemot, Exodus 34, chapter and verse 24. The book of Exodus 34, chapter and verse 44, please. The book of Exodus 34, chapter and verse 24. The book of Exodus 34 chapter and verse 24. The book of Exodus 34 chapter and verse 24. Thank you, my beloved Shina. I will drive out before you and enlarge your body. But no one will cover your land when you go up three times a year to burn a first offering to Yahweh. I will cast out, thank you, my beloved gate. I will drive out the nations before you and enlarge your territory, and no one will cover you, your land, when you go to the land up. To walk me three times in a year. My beloved Christopher, I Yahweh will drive out the urban nations ahead of you and expand your territory so no one will covet and conquer your land when you go to walk me three times in a year. Thank you, my beloved Nikki, for I will cast out the nation before you and enlarge your borders. Neither shall any man desire your land when you are sure coming to worship me three times in the year. Now, let's read the book of Exodus 23, chapter verse 14. The book of Exodus 23, chapter verse 14. 23, chapter verse 14. Thank you, my beloved Bridget. I, Yahweh, will drive out a nation before you and enlarge your border, your territory, and no one will cover your land when you go to worship me three times in a year. My beloved Joel, I will drive out a nation before you, enlarge your territory, and no one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no exception. We cover your land when you go up three times a year to worship me. Three times. Three times. Thank you, my beloved. Three times you shall keep a feast into me in the year. Thank you, my beloved Greg. My beloved Christopher. Each year you must celebrate three festivals and my honor three one two three let me see my beloved nikki 
three times a year, you should obey a feast and to me, Yahweh. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. My beloved Shina. Three times in a year, you should obey a feast and to me, Yahweh. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. For I, Yahweh, will cast out the nation before you and enlarge the borders, neither shall any man desire your land when you go three times in a year to worship me. My beloved Jacqueline Judges, three times, three times, three times, three, not four, not five, not two, three, number three, hello, no, remember, three. Three times a feast into me in the year. My brother of Bridget Williams, three times you should obey a feast or keep a feast into me in the year. Three times. Three times. Three. Yom Kippur is one. Was Okades is one. Was Asana is one. Trumpet is one. Valentine's Day. Mother Days, Father Days, Maternity Kings, Halloween. But when you always say two times a year, Maternity Kings birthday, President birthday, Thanksgiving days, Independence days, when you always say three times a year. Let me see my beloved Pippi Hopkins celebrate three festivals each year in my honor. Blank, blank, three, only three. If you say about your birthday, your mother birthday, father birthday, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippurim, was Asana, Esther, Valentine's Day, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, hello. But I will say three. Celebrate three festivals each year in my honor. You want to honor me? Three feasts only. Whatever you have to do is you. Let me see now, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Three times you should keep a feast into me in the year. Three times in a year. Three times. Count all those holidays those people celebrate. Today, Trumpets, was Asana, was Goddess, Teshuva, As Asana, Maccabi, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Good Friday, Christmas, New Year, President Day. You're talking about so many things. So uh, uh, they have too many. I just give only a few because if I can't tell them, I'm going to spend hours. Now, let's see the book of Exodus 13, chapter verse 40. I mean, Exodus 12, chapter verse 1. Exodus 12, chapter verse 1. Shabbat Shalom, Oz. We are by Yahweh, bless you. Exodus 12, chapter verse 1. And tell me who is speaking and how he's speaking. The book of Shemot. 12 chapter verse 1. The book of Shemot. 12 chapter and verse 1, please. The book of Shemot. 12 chapter verse 1. The book of Shemot. 12 chapter verse 1. The book of Shemot. 12 chapter and verse 1. The book of Shemot. 12 chapter and verse 1, please. The book of Shemot, 12 chapter verse 1. The book of Shemot, 12 chapter and verse 1, please. Yahweh said to Moshe and Aaron, thank you, my beloved Joe. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. Yahweh said to Moshe and Aaron and the land of Egypt, saying, Thank you, my beloved Shina, and Yahweh say unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Mizraim, saying, Thank you, my beloved Joe. Yahweh say to Moses 
in Aaron's in Egypt, that you might be of Greek, Yahweh said to Moses and Aaron in the name of Egypt. Now verse 2. Let's go to verse 2 now. Verse 2. Verse 2, please. Let's establish the evidence for the cases. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom, and say, in the land of Mishraim, saying, now verse 2, now verse 2. Now let's go to the book of Exodus, 12 chapter verse 2. This month, Abib, a pulse, so be to you the beginning of months, it should be the first month of the year to you. Do Yahweh say, was Asana? Do Yahweh say, you must celebrate it? Do Yahweh say, is a feast? Do Yahweh say, is a day to celebrate? How many times you see Moshe celebrate the first year, the first day of the year? How many times you see any prophet? Yahshua did it, he celebrated it. Why not celebrate it? Because they always say three times is three times. Thank you, my beloved Joe. This month to be the first month. This month is Abib. Abib. This month, my beloved Joe, Joe correct, correct some piece. The month, this month of Abib is to be for the to you the first month of the year. My beloved Christopher, the month of Abib. Abib. Is apples and English so be for you the beginning of months. The beginning of months, you don't say September, it's say Abib should be the beginnings of the year to you. You do not say to celebrate it or to make a party to drunk, to drink, to having sex, to having party. No. It just remind Moses, reveal Moses what is what time you are leaving, Moshe. He never said to celebrate it. He never said, I would say you must obey only three festivals, three celebrations every year. He don't say a baby supposed to be one of them. Just like people celebrate New Year's. The pagans, Jewish, same thing. Muslim, same thing. But Yahweh never said the children of Israel, they must celebrate any kind new year. You don't say that. He said three times a year. Let me see my beloved Nikki. This month of Abib should be to you the beginning of months. It should be the first month of the year to you. That means September and the uh, at the middle and the end of September, it cannot be Rosh Hashanah. It cannot be the first of the year. That is a deception. That is the Jewish holidays. But this is nothing to do with Yahweh and the children of Israel. Because our Yahweh give the children of Israel a specific date, but never say to celebrate it. He said three times a year. You must celebrate a festival for me, not Abib. You don't say to celebrate the month of Abib. No, 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 no. You don't say that. You don't say to celebrate the first month of the year to get drunk, get sex, party, everything. No, 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 no. You don't say that. You never say that. Show me the scripture. Because the scripture must be interpreted by the scripture. If anything is not the scripture, put a dog tip in your mouth. Because the scripture must be interpreted by the scripture. I don't think with tradition. You have something when there's scripture with you. If there's no scripture, don't even think and talk to me. Because I use the scripture. I use the word of Yahweh. I don't use tradition. I use doctrine. Prove all things. Study to prove yourself approved by Yahweh. That's it. Yahweh spoke to them and Mishraim and Babylon would Egypt explain his way and paradise. That's it. Now explains what they have to do. This month, Abib, shall be into you the beginning of months. The beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Abel, make Moses knowing. I don't tell you to celebrate it. 
I don't tell you there is a feast. I want to tell you what month you are living. You are living on the month of Abib. The month of Abib should be the first month of the year to you. Not September and not July and not January. Everybody know Constantine is the one who changed April to January. They know that. Make a research for yourself. Now, let's go to the book of Leviticus, the book of Vaika 23, chapter verse 24. The book of Leviticus, the book of Vaika 23, chapter, let me see. Yahweh showing our ones and mercy are to come out of my people and Babylon's. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to the book of Leviticus 23, chapter and verse 24, please. The book of Vahigwa, the book of Leviticus, 23 chapter and verse 24. Because everybody thinking, everybody can bring a snake to the school. But the main thing is, it's not about to bring the snake to school. But it's when you go ahead and to make the snake sit down to show the snake how to read or to write. You can drop it, you can push it, you can do whatever you want. But the main thing is, is to show the snake how to sit down, show his legs, and to get his The book of Vahikwa 23, chapter verse 24, to see how all those deceptions and everything's taken place. Because blind lead another blind. Because the scripture, the Sakyashua see, I come in into this world for judgment. To make those who think they are see become blind and those who are blind to see. So now our buyer are gonna make those people blind and those who think they are taking the blind are buyer are gonna make you see. Now you can go ahead and teach them. The book of Vahigwa. The book of Vahigwa. 23 chapter verse 24, please. Thank you, my bit of Sina. He speak into to the children of Israel, saying, And the seventh month of the first day of the month shall you have a feast of trumpet. Mm. And all the convocation. Listen carefully what they say. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Listen, my beloved Greek. Yahweh said to Moses, he speak to the Israelites, not to the Jewish people, to the Israelites, not to the black Israelites, not to the Jehovah Witness. Listen carefully. Not to the Catholic. Then you are to appoint a festival, the appointed feast, the feast of trumpets. My beloved Christopher, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. On the first day of the appointed month of Abib and early in October. Which one you are, Christopher? Are you in Leviticus 23 24? I am in Leviticus 23 24, my beloved Christopher. He speak to the children of Israel, saying, on the seventh month, Christopher, Leviticus 23, chapter and verse 24. We already go out of this. Now we are in Leviticus 23 and 24, please. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. He speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the seventh month, in the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath office of trumpet. <laughs> God, son. give the following of scripture the people of Israel on the first day of the appointed month and early October to celebrate the feast of trumpet on the seventh month. Are you believing that? No. Next, Sabbath Shalom. He speak into the children of Israel, saying, and the seventh month on the first day of the month, and the seventh month on the first day. You solemn west a memorial proclaim with the blast of trumpet. With the blast of trumpet. How many of you 
thinking that interpretation is correct. How many of you who thinking that translation is correct? He speak to the people of Israel saying in the seventh month, seventh month, on the seventh month, you should observe a day solemn rest, a memorial proclaimed with blast trumpet and other vocation and set up a convocation. What shall we mean? What shall we mean? On the seventh month, on the first day, on the seventh month, are we on the seventh month? Are we are on the first day? In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, are we are on the seventh month? Shabbat Shalom is speaking to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, Abaya will give a specific instructions on the seventh month. Okay, let's put it that way. Let me know which sound it is. You will tell me if the sound of the trumpet or the sound of a shofar. Which interpretation are you using? I was in all of them. I was in all of them because what whatever you see is not what you get. It's right over here, Greg. It's inside of me. It's not a, what, what what I'm reading. It's just a revelation. Okay. I may ask a question. Listen what, what the sound of this is. Tell me what sound it is. Tell me if the sound of the trumpet or what sound you hear. Yahweh said to Moses, he speak to the Israelites, not to the black Hebrew Israelites, to the Israelites, not to the Jewish people. And I will never have a covenant with the black Hebrew Israelites or the Jewish people. And saying, they are my appointed festival, the appointed, and these that. So now, Calendar seven months is October. Okay? If sept if seven is October and it's not trumpet, it's a shofar. Hmm. Really? Listen to that. What sound you see down is? Tell me what sound is down. What sound is this? What sound it is? Listen carefully, tell me what sound it is. What sound it is? What sound it is? Shofar, thank you. My beloved Shabbat Shalom, what sound it is? Thank you, my beloved. Blast of Shofar, thank you, my beloved Christopher. What sound it is? Great blouse sofa. Thank you. That's not trumpet, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. That's not trumpet. That's not trumpet, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. That's not trumpet. Thank you, my beloved sofa. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. That's not trumpet. That's a sofa. Correction, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Correction. So far. Thank you, my beloved PP asking. Thank you, my beloved seated. So far. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. So far, it's not trumpet. And the assembly, thank you, my beloved Nikki, is a chauffeur. That's the same thing you read the siren 911. It's a siren. It's not trumpet. Siren is siren. Shofar cannot be converted as shofar. Thank you, my beloved soul. There is no face of trumpet. To blow the shofar is to come together the assembly. When we take weights, and you have to blow the sound of the shofar in order for the children of Israel to come in back again. That don't doesn't you must celebrate the feast of shofar. The shofar is a warning, it's a blast for warning. Whatever we scatter it. That's why Joshua always blow the shofar, not a trumpet. In order to make a warning if the world is coming to make sure you blow the shofar, the blast of the shofar, not a trumpet. Trumpet doesn't exist on the time of Moshe. There is no shofar. There is a horn. They, they call it horn. They call it horn. Shofar. 
but not trumpets. That's another deception for men. That's another deception from the Jewish or the black Israelites. There is no face of trumpets. Just that the sound 911. You cannot sleep with the sound of 911 because it's an emergency. Yet to pay attention. To pay attention is a warning. Yes, the restaurant with a Zoe, Joshua, the chauffeur, hallelujah. Yes, that's a different. Louis Alex Armstrong played a trumpet, but Joshua, he was blow the chauffeur. So, so the chauffeur and the trumpet is two different it's trumpet. It's two different things. Yahweh used chauffeur, not trumpets. So there is no feast of trumpets. So whatever the congregation, whatever the feast, we must be blood the sofa in order for us to gather together no matter where you are. But we are not on the seven months, even the feast of trumpet, but we are not on the seven months. If the Jewish people say September is the worst Ashana, if you take January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. It's not seven months. You can't celebrate the sound of 911. Hallelujah. <laughs> but now they want to celebrate the sound of 911. That's what they are doing. Because they are blind, they are confused. The siren is a warning to pay attention to pull over because this is an emergency. But today, blind lead another blind. Now, let's go to the verse 25, please. Verse 25, please. Leviticus 23 and 25, please. Leviticus 23, chapter and verse 25. To see how people has been misled and deceived without proper understanding. Because they have no understanding. They read something without any understanding whatsoever. And the thanks is a feast. But you cannot celebrate 911 as situation are saying. You cannot celebrate a feast of trumpet. The trumpet is an instrument. How can you can celebrate an instrument face? How? When you say three times a year, three times, if you add the feast of trumpets, an instrument, how are you going to say with a, a feast of an instrument? What the instrument represented? Thank you, my beloved sinner. You shall do no several work therein, but you shall offer an offering made by fire into Yahweh. But what I sacrifice are by Yahweh? was talking about do you was talking about the feast of trumpet or what yahweh was talking about my beloved nikki you should do no civil work therein but you should offer an offering made by fire to yahweh my beloved christopher you should not do any ordinance work you should present a set apart offerings to our by yahweh just for a feast of trumpet right that's a feast of trumpet. And according to convocation, you should do no work, ordinary work, and you should present a food offering, a food offering for Yahweh for a feast of trumpet. Are you believe that? My beloved Joe, do no regular work, but present a food offering to Yahweh. You think it's a feast of trumpet? My budget Williams, do not we do not we good I do not do we good our work, but present a food offering to Yahweh, just for a feast of trumpet, for the instrument. At the time of Moshe, there was no trumpet. There is a horn now they call shofar. So how can how many times Moses said with the feast of trumpet? Yeshua said with the feast of trumpet. If it's so important, why Yahshua do not sleep with it? 
food offerings for a trumpet what yahweh want to refer to is a passover it's not about the feast of trumpet that is scripture has no contest on the scripture no contest whatsoever that's a misinterpretation i want to go to the book of leviticus 23 chapter verse 1 please the book of leviticus 23 chapter verse 1 the horn made from horns not brass hallelujah yes that's weird. that's called great blind lead another blind that's why they say with trumpets there is no trumpet at the time joshua blow the shofar on not a trumpet when he go to the promised land the one of Jericho, it was not a trumpet, it was a chauffeur. It was not a trumpet, it was a chauffeur. They blow the chauffeur. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, verse 2, verse 2. And Abba Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, Thank you, my beloved Shina, thank you, my beloved. Christopher, thank you, my beloved Nikki. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Thank you, my beloved Nikki. Yahweh spoke to Moshe. It's not Moshe who spoke to Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moshe. Verse 2 now. Verse 2. Leviticus 23 1. Yes. Now we're going to. Yahweh said to Moshe, He speak to the Israelites and said to them, Those are my apostles. Appointed feast at the appointed time. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. This is my feast according to the appointed time. Listen carefully. Listen the warning. This is my appointed feast. You must do it according to the appointed time. Blank, blank. Hello? Are we there? Let me see my bit of Greek. Yahweh spoke to Moshe, yes, I leave my presentation. My beloved Shina, he speak to the children of Israel and say to the children of Israel concerning the feast of Yahweh, the feast of Yahweh, which we shall proclaim to Yahweh according to the appointed time. Are we there? Nobody else? We're going to keep put you in verse 3. The appointed feast to our by Yahweh. You should be celebrated according to the appointed time. As a set apart convocations. Not to you, not to Yahweh. My beloved Shina, speak to the children of Israel and say unto them, Concerning the face of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to Yahweh, and as set apart convocation, they are my appointed feast. Yahweh said, They are my appointed feast. They are my apprentice face. Are you getting it? They are my apprentice face. Now, verse 3, please. Verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3 now. Please. Verse 3. Verse 3. Thank you, my beloved people. To say to the community of Israel, I have chosen certain times for you come together and worship me. Hello, Yahweh say he appointed his appointed time for the community of Israel. He chosen a certain time, not men to choose time for him. What they have to say, what they have to do. But our by Yahweh appointed his own time for us to get together to worship him. He don't give men that power and authority. Let me see my beloved Nikki. He speak to the children of Israel and say to them, concerning the face of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to be set apart according to the appointed time, not what you want to do, not to change whatever you want to do. My beloved Shina, six days you shall walk. But the seven days might be a seven days of the Sabbath of rest. 
et cette part convoy personne you should do no work so ya by our way give his appointed face the first one he told about the shabbat he don't let men he say six days okay six days not seven days not pick and choose those are the Yahweh appointed feasts. He don't say Sunday. He don't say Monday. He don't say the Lord Day. He says six days. These are my appointed feasts. Not your appointed feasts. Feasts are the mark of Yahweh. Yes. You have six days. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. You have six days each week for your ordinary work. But the seven days is Sabbath day of complete waste. And official convocations must be celebrated in honor of our by Yahweh. So Yahweh don't leave any room for any man to choose for him. Let me see my beloved Nikki. Six days you walk, but the seven days is Sabbath day of rest of certified convocation. You should do no work in it, and it shall be a certified convocation to Yahweh. Now, let's go to the next verse, please. Verse 4. The next verse, please. The next one, please. The next verse. Thank you, my beloved people. You have six days. Six days. You can do your work. But the seven days each week is set apart because it belongs to me. No matter of work must be done. This is Yahweh instructions, commandments, and warning and requirement. Hello, Bridget's, my bit of Bridget's Williams. There are six days when you may do work. But the seven days is the day of Sabbath rest, a day of set apart assemblies. No work must to be done. This is Yahweh speaking, my beloved Sina. They are the feasts of Yahweh, even set apart, not only set apart convocations, my beloved Sina, which you shall proclaim in the appointed time. Hello, and what? And the a printed time. That means you cannot pick and choose which day or to use the moon in order to say this is the feast of Yahweh. No, that's going to be your feast, not Yahweh. Mm -mm. Yahweh is not a author of confusions. Yahweh cannot say something and do another one. Let me see my beloved Christopher. In addition to the Sabbath, in addition to the Sabbath, in addition to the Sabbath, these are Yahweh appointed face. Hello, not men made appointed face, but Yahweh appointed face. The official day of the set apart assembly of Israel. Point blank, not black Israelite, not the Jewish people, not the Christian, not the Baptist. My beloved Nikki, these are the feasts of Yahweh, even the set apart convocation. Which you shall proclaim in the season, according in the season, mean according to the appointed time. My beloved Sina, these are the feasts of Yahweh, even a set about convocations, which you shall proclaim to Yahweh according to the appointed, appointed time. Yahweh say is appointed a time and a season for everything under the sun. So you can appoint it for Yahweh. Let me see my, my beloved Shabbat Shalom as to say. These are the feasts of Yahweh. Not the feasts of Daniel. Not the feasts of the Jewish people. But what's Asana? They say they are the feasts of the Jewish people. Wake up, all you people. Wake up, all you blind leaders. They say what's Asana is the feast of the Jewish people. The high holy days of the Jewish people. Not the feast of Abba Yahweh. Wake up the differences. They say the Jews was Asana is the feast of the Jewish people, the high holiday of the Jewish people. That means they don't say they are Yahweh feast. They say the Jewish people. That means Yahweh is not there and Yahweh will never be there. You must wake up, my people. 
the feast of trumpet. They say the Jewish. They don't see Yahweh feasts. Then now we're gonna give explanation. The next verse five, verse five now. Verse five. Let's see what shall we see. Verse five. Verse five. What shall we see? Verse five. Verse five, please. Mark of the a Saturn Sunday, yes. And made men feast of the birthday, Christmas, and July, and everything, yes. All of them are nothing but pagans. The first, the five verse, please, and Leviticus twenty-three chapter. The next verse, please. The first five, five verse, please. What is it? What the next verse say? The next verse, please. Verse five. The verse five, according to our by Yahweh word, not according to men made. And the fourteen day of Abib is Yahweh pass over alone. And the fourteen days. And the fourteen days alone. Anybody there? This is the word of Yahweh. This is the instruction Abai will give to the children of Israel. That's why they cannot do whatever Abai will ask them because they celebrate their own face, not Yahweh face. Because it must be at the appointed time. The scripture talking about Abib the 14. That's why they hide in the first month. Thank you, my beloved Shina. And the 14th day of the first month of Abib, at even and the twilight, that mean according to the appointed time, is the feast of Pesach, the feast of Passover into Yahweh. Not to the Jewish people. That's why they don't celebrate it according to the appointed time. Because they do nothing for Yahweh. The elders, they do nothing for Abba Yahweh. The black Hebrew Israelites, they follow the Jewish footsteps. They do nothing for Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh don't give any space, any room for any man to pick and choose according to the new moon. Abba will say, you must not bow down to anything he create above beneath. Do not bow down to them. He say what? On the 14, on the 14th day of the first month of Abib is a Passover to Yahweh. The feast of Passover to Abba Yahweh. Not according to men. Not according to the black Hebrew Israelites who keep their feast anytime they feel like. Do not belong to Yahweh. Do not belong to Yahweh. Verse 6, please. Verse 6. Verse 6. Let's go to the verse 6, please. The blind must be seen now, and those who think they are sick can become blind. Verse 6, please. Verse 6. On the 15 days of the month of the feast of unleavened bread, think of my beloved great. Begins for the seven days you must set apart bread make without yeast. Hello, that's two feasts so far. So it told you pass over, now it told you unleavened bread. Hello, we're gonna see what shall we speak in. In the 15 days, that means in the 14th day is the Passover. That's the day Messiah Yeshua rescued the children of Israel from the land of Mizraim. On the 15 days, it is the feast of unleavened bread. You must celebrate seven days. Thank you, my beloved Shina. But on the seventh, on the 15 days of the same month of Abib, it is the feast of Messiah Yeshua unleavened bread into Yahweh. Seven days eating bread without yeast. But this is not bread with yeast. That's a different thing. I'm not going to go to that today. Let me see my beloved Christopher. 
Then on the 15 days of the same month, there is a feast of unleavened bread of Yahweh. For seven days you shall eat bread without yeast. Hello? Anybody home? Yahweh give instructions. He give the requirements. He see what he want from you. Not what you want from him. What he was required to do. To follow a footstep. Not to follow your footstep or Satan. No. A spiritual remove saying yes from your temple. Hallelujah. How do you know that? Oh. How do you know that, Greg? My beloved Bridget Williams. And on the seventh on the 15 days of the same month, on the 15 days, the 14 is a Passover, and then the 11 bread is start at twilight on the 15 days. So this is 11 bread into Yahweh, not into me, not into you, not into your rabbis or the Jewish people or the black Hebrew Israelites, but to Yahweh. That's the differences. I don't do anything for myself. I don't have no self. I don't have no will. I don't do anything to please men. You can lock me, you don't lock me. It is what it is. The truth is the truth. I don't blame myself where I am today. Yahweh called me, he chosen me, he anointed me, he ordained me to tell you the truth. You don't like it? Hey, flip the flip the page. That's it. It's not for you. It's not for you. Many are called, but only few are chosen. If I put my feet in your toes, I will put it and I will put it again. That's it. It's the truth. When you get that page, make sure you're going to get what you, what I want you to hear. Not eating his. Because I want nothing from you. Nothing whatsoever. Yabai I want to save your soul from the corruption of this wicked world. So, Facebook about to cut off. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go. Let's go now. To verse 7. 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 What the verse 7 said. Verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. Verse seven. And we're going to close to that until later. The time is running fast. Oh, mama mia. The time is running fast. On the 15 days of Abib, the feast of Passover. And the first day you will have to set apart convocation. You shall do service, no work day ends. Just that like Yahweh said. My beloved, I think we reach in the times we get to separate for now until later. Because there is so many verse to go through. So many deceptions. So there is a lot of time. The time is going faster. So we get to cut the service for now until later. And we're going to give continuity. So may I by Yahweh bless all of you. May I by Yahweh give his face. Yes. To keep his shout upon you and be gracious to you. I'm asking I by Yahweh to bless every single of you. And to keep his face shy upon you. And to remove you from the destruction of this wicked world. And to teach you his way. I will see you later. At 7. If it is by the will of I by Yahweh. In order we can maybe try to finish about the deception of the fish was asana, the fish of wash goddess, and the piece of trumpet, they never exist according to Yahweh. I bear we give the instructions. I have 25 minutes. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> I do not know. Okay, let's continue. So on the first day, the feast of people must be stopped. The ordinary works and observe an official day to be set apart to Yahweh. So that means the Feast of Unleavened Bread is also a special convocation. So if you take the 14th day of Aviv, you could you are to celebrate it in the tree line because Messiah Shua passed over at three o'clock. So because it said because it's at three o'clock, so because of that, three is a symbolic number just like seven. So our buyer we don't leave any rooms, any place to do anything. Now, let's take the book of Yeshayah, the book of Isaiah, first chapter verse 10. The book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, first chapter verse 10. 
the book of Isaiah. Do we have some time? Let's go to the the book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse time. First ten, please. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse ten. We got some time. Come on, let's do it. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse ten, please. The book of Isaiah, Yeshua, first chapter, verse ten. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse ten, please. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse ten. Let's see what he has to say. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse ten. Let's see what he has to say. The book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse ten. Are a reflection of things that have happened. Yes, it's just a shadow, a shadow of things to come. A shadow of things to come. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. And the first day you shall have and set apart convocation, you shall do no service work day in on the feast of unleavened bread. But now let's go to the book of Isaiah, Yeshua, first chapter, verse 10, please. The book of Yeshua, the book of Isaiah, 10, first chapter, verse 10. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Sodom. Give here into the Torah of Creator, you people of Gomorrah. Not Amorah, Gomorrah. Correct it, my beloved Shina. You are too fast. It's Gomorrah, not Amorah. Hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Sodom. Give here into the Torah of the Creator, you people of Gomorrah. Saddam and Gomorrah. Hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Gomorrah. My beloved Joe, hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Saddam. Listen to the instruction of Yahweh, you people of Gomorrah. My beloved Christopher, listen to Yahweh, you religious leader of Saddam. Listen to the commitment of Yahweh, you people of Gomorrah. My beloved Nikki, hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Saddam. Give here to the commandments of Yahweh, you people of Gomorrah. Now, let's go to verse 11. Let's go to verse 11. Let's try to kill the birds before the stones pass away. Verse 11. We're going to come back to review last night. Corrections. Hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Sodom. Give here into the Torah of your creator, of our creator, you people of Gomorrah. Hallelujah. My beloved Shina. Now verse 11. Now verse 11. Now verse 11. Let's see what Yahweh say to those rulers. To those people. To those rulers of Sodom. To those people of the Creator. Hear the word of Yahweh. Thank you my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Hear the word of Yahweh. You rulers of Sodom. Give here the, of the commandment of Yahweh. It's a commitment, not the law, my beloved Sharon. It's the commitment of Yahweh, you people of Gomorrah. My, my beloved P.P. Halskin, you are no better than the leaders and the people of Sodom. Hallelujah. And Gomorrah. So listen to Yahweh. Hallelujah. I, you are no better than the leaders of people of Sodom and Gomorrah. They don't understand. They don't understand, P.P. They understand, my beloved. They understand they are no better. They're doing the same thing the people of Saddam and Gomorrah was doing, but they don't understand that. So listen to Yahweh. I said, listen, pay attention. Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Hear and listen to Yahweh. That me Shina. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice into me, said Yahweh. I am full of the burnt offering of worms. And the deceptions, I'm tired with them. What mean you think I want all your sacrifices? All your appreciated feasts, all your parties, how do you think I accept them? Said Yahweh. I am sick, I am sick and tired with your burning offering of worm and the fat of goat. My brother of Bridget Williams, the multitude of your sacrifice. What are they to me? They are nothing. Worthless, senseless. Waste your time, said Yahweh. I have more than enough of burning offerings of your vain sacrifices. 
I have more than enough. I have more than enough. Hello? Now let's go to 12. 12. See what Yahweh said to the children of Israel. To those leaders of Saddam and Gomorrah. To what purpose, thank you, my beloved Nick, to what purpose in the multitude of your sacrifice to me, said Yahweh. I am full of the burnt offerings of worms and the blood of goat. Do I am sick and tired with those things? Do my head, my head, my soul is head. Now, let's go to the verse 13, please. Verse 13. I'm sick and tired with your bonafides. friends. You're doing all the things my soul hates. I'm grieved for what you're doing. Verse 13, please. Verse 13. And I will say to those leaders, what is the purpose? When you come to worship me, thank you, my beloved Christopher. When you come to worship me, Yahweh, who asking you to parade through my coach with all your ceremony do i ask you to do all those ceremonies i don't ask you i don't ask you to do all those things i don't ask any you that thank you my beloved shabbat shalom to what purpose of the martyr judge of your sacrifice into me said yahweh i am full of the burnt offerings of one of both and i sick and tired my soul hates now verse 13 thank you my beloved greek Stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your incense, your detestable for me. Your new moon, your Sabbath, and your convocations, I cannot bear. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see, my beloved sinner. When you come to appear before me, who has made it okay for you to practice around my culture with your ceremonies? Do I told you I want those sky abominable things? I don't say any of them, said Yahweh. Let me see my bit of Christopher. Stop, stop, S-T-O-P. Stop by bringing your meaningless gift, the incense of your offering, disgusting me. A lot of your celebration of the new moon. A lot of your celebration of your new moon. Your new moon. Hello? Now, let's go to verse 14. My beloved Nuki. Bring no more useless obligations. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moon and the Sabbath decoding of the assemblies, my soul hates. Hello, hello, your sacrifice. Thank you, my beloved PP Upskins. Your sacrifice are worthless, and incense is disgusting. And I can't stand the evil you're doing on your new moon festival, in your new moon festival, or your Sabbath, or your appointed face. I do not know. They are disgusting to me. The appointed face was Asana, was Goddess, Yanuka, all that things, Halloween, Thanksgiving days, Abidens, all those things are by Yahweh say they are nothing but abomination. They are disgusting me. Your new moon, hello. If it was Yahweh new moon, why is say your new moon? Your new moon face is your appointed face, and your appointed face was Asana, was goddess, fish of trumpet, the president day, bed day, mommy day, father days, Akipurim day, Thanksgiving day, Halloween day, president day, back historical month, all those things Yahweh say, I hate with all my being, they have become a burden into me. I have worry of those things. Listen, all you people of Saddam and Gomorrah. Let me see my beloved Christopher. I'm Yahweh. I hate your new moon. I hate your new moon. I hate your celebration. I hate your animal festival. They are a burden to me. I, Yahweh, I cannot stand them anymore. 
Don't bring them to me anymore. My beloved sinner, I hate your new moon. Because Abba will never tell you to upgrade to the new moon, to bow down to the new moon. And this, they are troubled to me. Your upgraded face was Asana, was Goddess, Hanukkah, Feast of Trumpet, New Year's, Eldo Sky Abomination, President Days, all those things are by our sin. I hate you. I hate them. They are nothing but abomination to me. So if they were Sabah, they are nothing but troubled. They are troubled to me. I worry of be from them anymore. Let me see about my PP of skin. I hate your new moon festival and all others as well. Was Asana, was Goddess, Feast of Trumpet, was Goddess, all kinds are pretty feasts. The Feast of Trumpet, the Feast of Mother Day, Father Days, President Days, Martin Luther King's birthday. All kinds, all those things are printed by men, I by our say to you, I hate those apprented feasts you are doing. I'm tired. I have your new moon. I hate your new moon festivals and all others as well. They are a heavy burden. I am tired of carrying them. They are about to say, I'm tired of your vain sacrifices. I'm tired of your new moon. I'm tired of your worst accordance. I'm tired of a young people. I'm tired and St. Valentine's Day, I'm tired of Mother Days, Father Days, Mud Sunday works. I'm tired. They are nothing but a burden for me. See, Abad Yahweh, Abad is tired. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Baptist. Your new moon, your apprented face, your apprented face, not Yahweh. Yahweh say my apprented face, but now you say your apprented face. That is the difference. What's our goddess is your apprented face, your new moon. Is your appointed feast your all festival feast of trumpet? Is your appointed feast was Asana? Is your appointed feast was Goddess? Is your appointed feast Saint Valentine Day? Is your Valentine? Everything we could finish that later. Now let's go to verse 14, please. Verse 15, I mean, verse 15, verse 15, verse 15, and we're gonna get the rest later. Verse 15, please. Father days, yes. Father works with mother days. Mother works with Satan. They make their mothers as a God. They make their fathers as a God. They make everything as a God because they want to be a God. No matter how much you pray, thank you, my beloved people, husband. No matter how much you pray, I won't listen. You are too violent. Yahweh is speaking to all those leaders who take in, they have any relationship with Yahweh when they have not. Yahweh say, I don't care, no matter how much you pray to me, I won't listen to you because you are too violent. Your hand is filled with blood. Thank you, my beloved sinner. When you left off your hands and pray, I will not look. Through you offer many prayers, I will not listen to you and your hand is full with blood, with innocent blood. Hello, those pastors, those leaders, those spiritual leaders, Yahweh is talking to you. Because of your abomination against him, no matter what you're doing, you're doing in vain, in vain, in vain. Now, let's go to the book of Mark 7, chapter verse 5, and let's close to that for now. The book of Matthew 7, chapter verse 5. Let's go to that one for now. And we're going to start a little round to give some more juice to ask the children of hell. Why? The book of Mark 7, chapter verse 5. Let's go to that one for now. And 7 o'clock tonight, and we're going to start again by the will, by the mercy, and by the love of Abba Yahweh to remove you from the darkness. Your new moon face and your apprentice face. Your new moon is not Yahweh apprentice face. Your new moon, your appointed face. Your new moon, your appointed face. I hate. I hate. I hate. Hello. With all my beings, they have become a burden to me. I cannot carry them no more. I'm tired. And when you spread your hand and why high prayer, 
I will hide my face from you. Yes, even you make many prayers, I will not gonna hear sent and send to you. Hypocrite first, get the outside in your own eyes to your wedding. You hypocrite first, take the plank of your eyes, and then you will see clearly to remove the speak from your bloody eyes. And then we spread forth your hand. I will have, I will hide my eyes from you. Yes, when you make many prayers, I will not hear from you because your hand is full with blood. You hypocrites, first get wide of the logs, your own eyes. Then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your brother's eyes. Those pastors, listen. For that verse comments in the beginnings of the messes. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. <laughs> First, take it off the plagues on your eyes. Then you can see to remove those plagues in your eyes and you can talk into your blood. My beloved, we're going to finish later. A battle of Yahweh. At the time, go enjoy your dinner, your lunch, or I do not know. Because me, I don't need one. May Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh bless you. I'm asking Abba Yahweh to always reveal to you himself the way he wants you to. To tell you the truth. Not according to those pastors, to those elders, to those rabbis who keep on lying to you because of the sect to preserve, to protect the addictions and to fulfill the angst legacy. I don't have no legacy. I have no life. And I have no wills. My desire is to do only one thing, to do the will of Yahweh, to proclaim the truth to you. Maybe the truth should set you free. I thanks Abba Yahweh for all of you. I thanks all of you because you are willing to understand. You have like the courage, like the determinations, and like the desire. May Abba Yahweh bless all of you. May Abba Yahweh give its face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba Yahweh lift its continent upon you and give you shalom. To those who support the ministry, May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh open up the shadow of the paradise. All the windows and the doors. And shower you is its blessing. For all those who never their friend or whatever they do. May Abba Yahweh bless all of you. All of you, I love all of you. My beloved Greeks, my beloved Shina, my beloved Christopher, my beloved Bridget Williams, all those, my beloved Nikki, my beloved Jones, my beloved Joro. Every, every one of you, my beloved PP Hopkins is your new ones. I praise Abba Yahweh for you, and I thanks Abba Yahweh for you, my beloved PP Hopkins is a new member. Just comment, but very interesting, very engaged on the word of Abba Yahweh. So at seven, yes, at seven o'clock. So we're gonna continue about what Abba Yahweh takes. Yes, the hypocrite first cut out the beans out of your own eyes, and then you shall see. The only name of salvation is Yahushua Amasiak. Thank you. May Abba Yahweh be with you. I see you later. I love every one of you. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to praise, to bless, and to protect, to heal, and to provide for every single of them. Keep them safe until later in the name of Yahushua Amasiak. I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, say Shalom Alehem. Peace be in today, and see you tonight at seven o'clock take a rest until seven so now let's go do it let's do it are you ready <laughs> are you ready come on rejoice Day, On the seventh day, every week, shalom, shabbat, shalom. not the to be what you want. Come on. A day of less than words, the of I love all of you. And for those who hear and seem to obey, it's a Shabbat day today. Sabbath day today, all day, all night. Yes, seven, 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 seven. Oh yes, come on. Come on, Israel, no matter where you are, and rejoice. 
Your king is coming soon to you. Given by the Alpha Creation Day. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Ismail. No matter where you are, your new moon, your acquitted faiths, I hate. They are a burden to me. I cannot bury them the Lord. Three times a year. Come on, Israel, no matter where you are. Come on, Israel, now where you are. Let's enter into our Bayawi gate with Thanksgiving. Let's praise our Bayawi to reveal to you the truth. Because the truth has been hiding to you to the Jewish people for almost 2,000 years of religion deceptions. We've been seeing with all kinds of pagans holidays without knowing Yahweh character, Yahweh face, are printed to you. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Israel, no matter where you are. Enjoy your breakfast or your dinner. I'm not doing it. I see you later at seven. May our by our way be with you. May our by our way bless you. I love all of you. And your swanee. Be blessed. Be sweet to you. We are by our way. Bless the soul of you. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. I'll see you later. You can care. Enjoy your breakfast or your dinner. I know what you do. It's good. Enjoy it and I'll see you later. I love all of you. I love all of you. I see you later. I see you later.